Good morning, you guys. It's the first day momless here in the house, guys. We woke up this morning to no mom. As you can see, I was able to get the kids up and dressed. We're all matching, except for Hazy Girl. She's looking <laughs> pretty and pink. We have a fun, fun idea for today. We told the kids that we were gonna go out to breakfast to start things off, because it's Memorial Day today. Yes. And it's oh, the yeah. first three days with no mom, so I said, you know what, let's have some fun. We'll start things off right. So the kids got up super early today. I got them up really early so we can beat the rush to breakfast. 6.30, guys. It's early. Are you excited to have some fun while mom's gone? Yeah! <laughs> okay, I was thinking, Rag, I had the idea that each morning we'll just kind of game plan what we're gonna do. I think breakfast is totally cool. I think that's super huge, but I think we can go bigger than that. I think we can do more than that. Okay. What do you guys think if we got in the car right now and flew to Disneyland? Yeah! I'm dead serious. <laughs> Bags are packed. <laughs> we're going to Disneyland right now. <laughs> oh. Plane? <laughs> On a plane. <laughs> I'm like freaking crying, you guys. <laughs> I've been... <laughs> I've been keeping this a complete secret. Even mom doesn't know. Nobody knows. We're fly out today. We go to Disneyland all day tomorrow, and then we fly back on Wednesday. <laughs> I was planning all these what? fake activities with these guys yesterday. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I want to have the most savage few days. Do you want to go to Disneyland, Hazy? Yeah. Do you have to go potty? Yeah. Okay, run go potty. <laughs> <laughs> the suitcase is packed. The reason we're up early is because we got to catch our flight. Let's go get in the truck, and let's go to what? California. Yeah! <laughs> Are shaking. Dude, my whole body's shaking. Like when I went to tell you I couldn't breathe, I was so nervous. I haven't told a soul. This has been so hard to keep a secret. <laughs> Okay, you guys, okay, it's starting to settle in that this is real and it's actually happening, but you guys, even mom doesn't know, and I don't know how she's gonna react, but I had an idea, and Ragai just said he had the exact same idea. We're gonna pretend all day today that we're at home, and then we will FaceTime her to surprise her, and I'm gonna have Michelle video her reaction in Vegas to us being in Disneyland. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Literally, the suitcase is in the car already. I packed it up. We can just get in the car and go. Let's brush our teeth first, though. Let's brush our teeth. Don't worry where we're going. It's sunny and 70, okay? We just gotta get through this rain and get out of here. This would not be a fun few days in this rain. We gotta go where it's sunny, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have coats because it's supposed to be like 50s at night at Disneyland. So we have coats, Peter. but they're in here. Sorry, guys. I had us in like warm, sunny summer weather clothes. Hey, at least that's good that we had the hot air on in the car. <laughs> yeah. So we've made it to the airport, parked in a long term parking, even though we're gonna be gone for a couple days. It all happened kind of fast. Let me tell you guys what's going down. I'm talking to the kids about it the whole drive here. We're gonna fly out to California today. We're gonna to spend the whole day at Disneyland and California Adventure tomorrow. We got a Park Harbor Pass. It opens at 8, it closes at 11. We're gonna crush it the entire day from open to close, fireworks show, absolutely everything. You see the bus? It'll come this way when it comes to pick us up. Then we fly back home the next day. So we're just flying out for a day at Disneyland and then flying back home just to have the most savage, amazing three days while mom's out having the time of her life in Las Vegas. The forecast for tomorrow at Disneyland is perfection. It is 71 degrees as a high. Sunny skies. It's going to be beautiful. It's the day after Memorial Day, so I'm hoping not quite as busy. Might be able to avoid some of the crowds. I think the bus is coming. Let's go. This way, Hazy. Follow your brothers. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. This isn't the Disneyland ride yet. This is just the shuttle. Has it sunk in yet that we're about to get on a plane and go to Disneyland? Does it feel real yet? Yes, it feels real. I think it's starting to feel real, right? Is it starting to feel real? Well, I mean, real? if we're at an airport, then yeah. <laughs> Rixie, are you stoked, dude? Yes! <laughs> Truth be told, we're never three hours early for a flight. That's a little bit excessive unless you're international. But we do try and be close to about two hours early when we're traveling with all the kids just because you never know what you're gonna run into. We do have the TSA pre-check, which helps. Today, we're just a little bit early because there was no traffic. I was planning on about an hour drive to the airport from our house, and it was like 25 minutes. Just here a little bit early for that, chilling, waiting for our flight, and then we'll be off. Yeah. Whenever you are. One, there two, you go. Three, four. Perfect. All right, Binghams, welcome board. Okay, thank Thanks you so much. Oh, Daddy. Rex, I love that there's so much leg room that you can actually crawl around and sit in it. Oh, Dad, look. 
but you gotta get in your seat. Wait, oh, it's kind of coming on. We're on the plane, we're about ready to take off. It's got me, Hazel in the middle, and brexy has got a window seat. We got Crew and Ragai in the row ahead of us. We did the uh, extra leg room on the way out there. When we come back, we're gonna be in the back with less leg room, but I thought on the way out there, be a little more comfortable, have some extra space. And guys, there's a lot of extra space on this. It's gonna be good. The kids are loving you guys. Something that is awesome about TSA pre-check, I don't even have to take my laptop out of my bag, nothing. I don't know why when we came home from New York, just me and Mindy, that I had to empty every single piece of equipment, camera equipment out of my bag, and I had to take out the laptop and the iPad. He said that's what triggered the search in the first place. When we went through here, as I remember TSA pre-check to be, I didn't have to take a thing out. Just put the bag on the roller, send it through, and we were right through. Super simple, super easy, the experience that I expected today. And JetBlue has been amazing so far. What are you doing for the Bingham? Yeah, we're in the Bingham. A pilot is going on a trip. Weird. <laughs> Secure the buckle and pull the strap to tight. Thank you so much. Bye. See ya. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Rexy, you ever done this before, bro? Come on down. <laughs> Rexy, what do you think? Is that fun? <laughs> Kids are flipping out, guys, because they've never done the get off the plane and walk right out into the open air before, so they're loving this. They freaked out when they saw that we would just be walking downstairs out onto the jetway. Dry Guy has been the biggest help on this trip. It's honestly like I was worried about how it was gonna go. It has not been difficult at all with Dry Guy's help. Everybody's been pitching in, everybody's been sharing, been helpful. Thank you so much, dude. Here it is, bros. You guys ready? Yep. You guys first Uber experience here. Me and mom got pretty used to it in New York. Here we go. How do I do this? He'll come out. Hazel, are we here? Yes, <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's got like the fireworks stuff. The Disney Oh, look at that. Magical castle up there, you guys. She said this is a very special room she got for us. It's ready early. It's full Disney theme. How cool is this? Now, check it out. There's two rooms. So come in here. So this is where Dad's going to be. This is going to be my little editing station. I'll probably sleep on this couch. And then you guys get these two beds, okay? Yeah. Does that sound good, guys? Might even pull out. I don't know. Wait, let's check. It does? Okay, yeah. then I have a bed. Sweet. Bathroom, little area. Guys, this is going to work. This is going to be good for us. We're here, we're checked into our hotel. Guys, oh, yeah. how sick is this room? Is it good? It is yeah. so cool. This is incredible, you guys. We are staying literally across the street from Disneyland. They've got this cool, fun themed room. The lady was Palm so nice trees, when we checked in. Fireworks. Firework show. We are literally right across the road. You can see the tops of rides. You can see the Matterhorn over there. We are so pumped to tear it up at Disney tomorrow. A lot of you are probably thinking, are you freaking crazy, dude? I can't believe you're taking your kids to Disneyland by yourself for a day. Guess what, guys? These kids have been amazing and helping. We've thought some things through. We didn't even rent a car. We just Ubered over here. We yeah. intentionally got the hotel right across the street, so all we have to do is walk over. Really going minimal on this trip, making it as low impact and as simple as possible so that we can pull it off together as a family. As you guys know, mom is in Vegas right now, having the time of her life as well as check in with her, see what she's up to while we get unpacked and get ready to go out and swim. We have had a fantastic time at the pool today. We've been hanging out for literally four or five hours. We're all just sitting in the sun. They closed a pool and sent us over to a different pool because someone threw up. But I guess we're in Vegas so anything can happen. We did get in a little bit of trouble running around the pool trying to chase Michelle and throw her in. They blew the whistle at us and then Lindsay jumped on her back and they blew the whistle at us again. So clearly this is a no fun zone, but that's okay. We're making the best of it. We are having a great time. You <laughs> really did a flip. I thought you were kidding. She said she was gonna do a flip and you really did. <laughs> it's not crazy warm, but it's pretty good out, right? I like it. It's not too bad. Oh. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> this is like one of those things with Michelle and I. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! You guys thought I, I was going to do this by I myself? Are you it. insane? <laughs> I knew it! Hey, you were... Go see! <laughs> guys, did you think... I knew it! <laughs> did you guys think I was going to try and do this by myself? There's no yeah, way I can do this. I knew it! Guys, it look how blonde shot. Maddie's hair is. Holy cow, yeah. that is looking good. Yeah. Maddie, come in, come in, come in, come in. One of the hacks that I was waiting to share with you and how I'm pulling off this insane trip is I had to have the help of Maddie, you guys. You guys know Maddie does not miss school for anything. And she has agreed to miss one day to join us here in Disneyland. Disneyland school. <laughs> Honestly, what it came down to was I was not going to be able to pull this off and wasn't going to do it if I couldn't get her to come with. We are so stoked to have her with us. Going to make it all that much more fun. So tomorrow is going to be killer here at Disneyland. We're going to go walk around downtown Disney right now. Now, have some dinner and then rest up for a huge day tomorrow. But first, we gotta tell mom what we're up to. I hope this goes over well. <laughs> Surprise we had for you? Yes. We're ready to show you. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, Abby! <laughs> we got a I know! Oh, it wasn't my idea! It was. Huh? Hey! Why are you crying? I just wish I was there. But you're having a fun girls' trip. I know. Okay, well, I'm nervous because we have a second surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is perfect timing. <laughs> We're at Disneyland! You're in Disneyland? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You took our kids to Disneyland and didn't tell me. That's like not even normal. Are you lying? I know, right? That's what I said. We just didn't know what to do at home. It was raining and crappy weather, so we thought we would come to Disneyland for the day. That's insane. How did you... Oh my head! Hi! You guys are in Disneyland! I couldn't do it without Maddie though. Oh my head! You guys are in Disneyland! Did you do you know that? They didn't know either. We they, found out this morning and then we got on the plane and now we're in Disneyland. They just barely found out this morning. I said we had to get up early to go to Chuckarama. Do you guys even have clean underwear? Well, I felt bad when you started crying that Maddie was with us. Then I'm like, oh shoot, this is not gonna go good when she sees we're in Disneyland. I love you. Now I'm even more sad I'm not with you. This time we're gonna do two trips to Disneyland. One for you, one for us. How many days are you there? We're just coming for the day tomorrow. We go back on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> I can never leave again. You're gonna wanna see these vlogs. They're gonna be pretty epic. <laughs> We just revealed to mom that we are here. I don't know if that was the most insane win or the most epic fail of all time. It was a double surprise. We started off by showing her that we were with Maddie and so she thought for a minute that we maybe flew Maddie out to be with us and she immediately broke into tears and we thought, oh shoot, it's yeah. gonna get way worse. She just said, I should be there. I just miss you guys. I wish I was there. And I was like, oh no. And we had to turn and reveal that we were at Disneyland. Yeah, at that point I was like, oh no, I don't even want to tell her that we're at Disneyland. I literally wish we could have ended it there and be like, let's just never tell her. Well, just, yeah. is that possible? <laughs> No, we had to tell her. She had to know what was going on. So once we showed her that, it turned from like tears of sadness to like just pure confusion, like absolute disbelief. Could not wrap her head or her mind around the fact that we were standing in front of Disneyland, in front of California Adventure with Maddie, with the whole family. It took a while to process. I think we had Michelle on the other end getting video of that. Hopefully we can get that to you guys and get into this vlog. But you guys, mom now knows that we are here. We're gonna go back, get ourselves into bed, an early bed tonight so that we can tear it up tomorrow. We're trying to
trying to go open to close on this thing. But yeah. first one's in, last one's out. We got one day to kill it. And now that mom knows, I just feel better about the whole thing. The sun has set here in Anaheim, California, just over Disneyland, right over there, you guys. We've got the kids in bed, so I snuck out here to close this vlog. I'm trying to get the footage from mom's end in Vegas. It's taking a very long time to send over. I hope that's included in this vlog. If it is, major bonus and thumbs up to mom for making that happen. This has just been the perfect storm of circumstances. We're gonna be going into Disneyland tomorrow. It's the day after Memorial Day. It's the kids' first full week of summer. The first week of summer break, we had to do it big. We had to go nuts on that first week of summer break to really kick off summer break, because at home, not very good weather. It's raining, it's cold, and that's just not how you bing them. We bing them like this. And we really wanted to get here before the Star Wars land officially opens, and this place just goes nuts, and that opens at the end of this week, so this is the last week to do it. Really, like I said, the perfect storm of circumstances to pull us all together today. Cross your fingers, wish us luck, smash the like button, come back tomorrow, subscribe if you haven't. This channel goes nuts and does crazy things sometimes. Come back tomorrow, because we will be at Disneyland and California Adventure from open to close, and it's gonna be insane. We love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hello and good morning, you guys. Literally walking into the entrance of Disneyland right now, you guys. We got the full family here, minus mom. The kids just said on the walk over here, there's something missing, and you guys, it's mom. We miss her, we love her. She's having a blast in Las Vegas right now. We talked to her last night. She actually loved the surprise. You're in Disneyland? It went over incredibly well. That's like not even normal. She was thrilled about it. She thinks it's the coolest thing ever. I could never leave again. So she's feeling better today, guys. She's got Celine Dion. She's got a lot of stuff going down. Oh, yeah. But we've got a day at Disneyland to take care of. We got <laughs> Disneyland. We got California Adventure. You may notice we're all rocking the THWB merch today. Hazy is going to stand out like a pretty pink princess so that we can spot her in her beautiful pineapple sunglasses. And she chose this. <laughs> the she, fish sunglasses. She is just the flower among the thorns here, except for Maddie. She's actually the rose. We're, <laughs> we're going to get in there right now. Day is getting started right. It's sunny. It's beautiful. We just walked across the street to the park. And we're going to get going right now. Oh, yeah. Woo! Brexy Doodle starting off the day, first ride of the day. Everybody wants to do Space Mountain. They want to do Hyper Space Mountain. It's Maddie's favorite first ride of the day. Brexy, what did you just say, bro? How you feeling about it? I'm shaking. I'm <laughs> I love you, dude. But we're gonna go we're, together, right? Gonna he's gonna, gonna, gonna hold Maddie's yeah. hand. I'm gonna wait out here with Hazy. We'll probably go do a fun ride. These guys are gonna do Space Mountain, first ride of the day. Brex, I'm so proud of you. See you on the other side, bro. I love you. Brex, do you love you? Maddie's got you. Guys, have a blast. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> So that they don't fall off. Hazy girl, should we go on our own ride? You want to go to the jet blasters? Yeah! <laughs> it's going to be me and daddy. <laughs> First ride of the day, you ready to go up? Yeah. Hazy's on the jet blasters. The other kids are on Space Mountain right now. We're taking the jet blasters up for a spin. Hazy's got the controls. We're ready to fly, baby. Yep. <laughs> Take us all the way to the top, okay? <laughs> Just me and Hazy chilling right now. A little different experience here at Disneyland without mom and with a bunch of kids and Maddie because Hazy and I are gonna be doing some of the more kiddie stuff and Maddie's helping out with the big roller coaster kids. So we're gonna try and get our Mac passes lined up right now, do some big rides, some rider standby. Hazy girl and I have been killing it on the rides ourselves today, but a little different Disney experience than we're used to without mommy. How was it, Brexit Doodle, your ride? I loved it, I wanna go on it again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> did the park hopper pass. We've never done two parks in one day before, but since we only have one day, we gotta maximize what we're doing here. We are going from Disneyland to California Adventure right now. We finally got the max pass situation sorted out. It wasn't working for two of the passes, so we couldn't max pass anything. That's our favorite thing to do, you guys. It's not that busy. The weather is perfect. The max pass is working. Raga, this is exit only. This way, champ. We are about to go into California Adventure. We're gonna hit Soarin' Over California, one of the kids' favorites. It's got all the sights, the smells. You take off in the air. It's a gigantic screen. Entrance right there. This is going to be so boss, you guys. We're ready to rock now. You ready for some Soarin' Over California? This one is dope. It's got that. Remember, like the whale jumps out. And, like splashes you and stuff. It's yeah. so cool. Are you ready to go soaring over California? Soaring over the world now. Oh, it is soaring over. You're right. It's not just California. We're gonna soar over the world. Are you ready? <laughs> I think she thinks we're really going flying. It's gonna and feel so amazing. Too. <gasps> yeah. Fireworks? The baiting witch ride we're going on next. We're trying to get Ragai to do Guardians of the Galaxy, bro. I don't want to. Come on, dude. Guardians of the Galaxy. But I'm gonna everyone... do Guardians of the Galaxy or Incredicoaster. I'm doing Incredicoaster with Rex. Are you doing Incredicoaster? No, I'm doing it. Everyone. I'm doing Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, dude, yes, we are. We're gonna have to do like a rider swap on the Guardians because Hazy can't go on that one. Credit coaster, we all want to do that, right? Do you 100% on board for that one? We want to do it in the day and at night. Yeah. That's the roller coaster that has the loops and has Incredibles on it. Load up. I'm gonna take that seat right there. Could we do you right there? Hazy, you're next to Maddie. Everybody, buckle, buckle, buckle. Guys, in a minute, this thing is gonna take off. It launches up this way. This is the screen. This is gonna be so rad. Gotta put this away though. Here we go.
I think it's been a few minutes we've been here, we've done a couple rides, it's time for a churro stop, don't you think? Yeah. You can't go too long without getting churros. Caramel corn churro. Wait, they have a caramel corn churro? Who wants to try that one? Like Very cool. Thank you. Churro life. Okay, let's go. First churro of the day. How was it? So good. Churro, churro, churro. Easy girl. First churro of the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got churros. We got drinks. Guardians of the Galaxy, anyone? Yes? I say yes. Yes? Hard Dragon. maybe? Hard no. pass? Hard no? We'll figure it out. Here we go. We just rounded the corner and there it is. Yeah, Are you ready, definitely dude? Definitely taller. It's a little bit taller than pretty much anything in the park. Wait, what, my guy? You going for it? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that guy's doing Guardians, you guys, right here. Dude, I'm so proud of you, bro, for coming. I just saw how short it was, and I'm just like... All right, Maddie's going to go with you guys. We're going to try and do a rider swap, and you guys you? come back, and I'll go with whoever wants to go again. I'll right, go with you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. See what you think after you do it, bros. Good luck. See you guys. Good luck. Bye, guy. You just got off Ride Guardians of the Galaxy. How was it, bro? I want to do it again. You want to do it again? Well, good, because I'm going right now. Now, Brexy, you're going for the first time. Six year old Savage about to go on Guardians of the Galaxy. Which one should I pick? Kirby's gonna go with Hazy and Maddie, and they're gonna go check out a fun kids ride. We're gonna go tear up Guardians. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah! Okay, guys, what ride are we going on right now? We're going on the Monsters Inc. We're going on Monsters Inc. because Rex and Rye Guy and Dad are going on Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're hitting up Monsters Inc. What'd you think of Monsters Inc. ride? Awesome. Awesome. What about you, Kirby? It was pretty fun, yeah. Good stuff. Dad. Now we're gonna go meet back up with Daddy and Rex and Rye Guy. <laughs> Bro, you did it. How was it? Fun. Was it pretty fun? We were both shaking so hard. Brexton was holding my hand, and I just get to him, you're good, you're good, and he's like, yeah, I'm okay. You were so brave, Brexton. What did you I think? I closed my eyes, and I'm like, there were on the drops, and at the top one, I'm just like, <laughs> I can't believe you did it. You are so brave, and I'm so proud of you, dude. What did you guys think? Brexton, tell them all about it, dude. Uh, I was shaking. I was so No scared. joke. I touched his hand. Literally, it was like, oh. He was so <laughs> brave, you guys. Absolutely loved it. He was so incredibly brave. I'm so proud of him because he doesn't shy away from it because it's scary. He does it even though it's scary. It's not like he's not he's scared of it. He said it was super scary. He was shaking afterwards, but he still does it. So he's been on Space Mountain and Guardians of the Galaxy already today, you guys. Our little six-year-old Savage. That's amazing. And what's up next, you guys? Incredible coaster. Let's go. <laughs> Kirby, are you going in? Rexy, okay. <laughs> and then we'll go next, okay? Here we go. So I got Rye Guy with me on standby. Hazy, no, Hazy, Hazy's right here. Hi, Hazy. Yeah. Oh, Maddie, Crew, and Brex are on the Incredicoaster. We are right next door at Jesse's Roundup. It's the new merry-go-round. They redid it for the Pixar Pier, one of our favorite places to hang out. So this is how we're dividing and conquering today. We got Hazy doing the fun stuff, huh? <laughs> He's doing the fun little kid stuff while Hazy and, well, and we do the rider swap so we max pass it and then when they get done they get off and we get to go right back on so Rye Guy and I are gonna go next and take crew with us. That's how we did Guardians of the Galaxy and that's where we're maximizing the fun today. Yeah. <laughs> Rex, you just did the Incredicoaster. How was it bro? What did you think? You loved it that much? Brexton, you've done Incredicoaster, Guardians of the Galaxy, Space Mountain. What won't you do? There's not a single ride that you can't do here now. Mm, uh, no, the only one, one I would do is that. <laughs> you won't do that. <laughs> no more baby rides for Brex, guys. He's growing up. Right, guys, first time ever on Incredicoaster. Are you ready, right, guys? You okay?
about the Incredicoaster, right guys, first time ever. He tore it up I like a boss. What I don't think I talked about leading up to it <laughs> is that he was very hesitant to go on it, did not want to go on it because your stomach wasn't feeling good, right? So that's kind of what happens when you have pop outs for breakfast and churros for lunch. We're gonna go get some real food here in a minute. But I was like, dude, you gotta do it. You're gonna regret it if you don't. Just go on it. It's not gonna matter, you're not gonna be sick. Well, guess who got off the roller coaster nearly throwing up? <laughs> I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I'm on this roller coaster that I've done many, many times, and I just start getting sick, and I like can't even like scream and have fun. I'm kind of just going like, oh, I'm feeling faint. We got off, and Ragai's like, that was awesome. I want to do it again, and I'm like, I can't. I, I gotta go eat. I'm gonna throw yeah. up. Ragai went on it like a boss. Dad almost puked. Crew hit it up twice. Like a savage beast. You feeling okay? Yeah. Ready to eat? Yeah. I'm gonna get some food. Plan out the rest of the day. Tear it up, guys. It's only like one o'clock. We've got ten hours left. I talk a big game. I don't know how late we're gonna make it. We're definitely staying until the fireworks. Oh yeah. one of Maddie's favorite rides and every time we go on it I can't figure out why. I love it, it's so fun. This is like intense teacups. Without a doubt, one of my favorite places here. Is it recording, my guy? Yeah. We've had so many times where it has stopped recording on us today, and I didn't realize it. But one of our favorite places, without a doubt, is Pixar Pier here in California Adventure. We've been spending most of our morning in California Adventure. I think we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go over back to Disneyland, do some fun stuff over there. We couldn't leave without doing the Paradise Pier Pixar Punch, whatever you call this thing. I don't know what you call it, but it is this amazing lemon ice cream with a blue slushie that then melts into this vibrant green. Maddie and I got it when we came here for her birthday. Seriously, I've thought about it ever since. Had a little bit of lunch. We're gonna take off from Pixar. Here we're gonna leave California Adventure, go back to Disneyland, and tear it up there for the second half of the day. How's it been so far, you guys? Oh, awesome. We've been on so many crazy fun rides. Dude, we have been such savages today with Guardians of the Galaxy, down again. Space Mountain, Incredicoaster. I still can't believe I've done Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, the slushies are pretty amazing. Batty, is it as good as you remember? It sure is. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the combination of the soft serve with the so slushie. Good. It's like kind of sweet and sour. Yes. And then really the colors good. just make it even better. Plus, you're on Pixar Pier. It is like the perfect combination of heaven and earth in one cup. It's kind of the best. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> We are back in Disneyland now officially. We wanted to go on the Haunted Mansion. We had one of our Fast Passes expire to Thunder Mountain, so we're gonna try and renew that one. But it's pretty hot. I mean, it's only like 70, but being out in the beaming sun, we're getting pretty sweaty. So we decided what we were gonna do is take a quick squat in the middle of a sidewalk here, have some popcorn, which doesn't make any sense because that dehydrates you, but it's delicious and we could smell it through the entire place. We grabbed waters for everybody, so we're gonna hydrate, drink up, eat some popcorn. Hazy's actually asleep just over there. We're gonna let her nap a little bit while our Fast Pass comes up for Haunted Mansion right there, one of our all-time favorites. Oh, yeah. Then we're gonna do some Disneyland stuff, Haunted Mansion. Probably Try to get on Thunder Mountain because guess yeah, what? Rexy wants to do that. But guys, it's only four o'clock, and as you can see, we're wearing down quick. All right, guys, we're heading into Haunted Mansion. The partners are Hazy and Dad, Maddie and Brex, and then uh, me and Crew. Should so, be who's fun. everybody fighting to go with on, on this trip? Do you feel like me? Maddie. Uh, Maddie. Yeah, but Jeff. I still do love you. I do love you too, but everyone wants Maddie. Are you well? Guys, we just found out that Hazy is tall enough to go on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and she wants to do a big roller coaster, she said. Are you ready to go on a big roller coaster? <laughs> okay, let's go. Stay here, watch your fingers, okay? All right, we're all paired up. Brexy, step back, they're gonna shut that door on you. Guys, we got Brex and Ragai in the absolute back caboose train. It's the one they wanted. We got Crew and Maddie together in this train. Hazy, are you going with me for your first roller coaster of your life? <laughs> let's do this. I think she's ready. Wait, wait till they get out and then we'll go get in, okay? Okay, ready and want me to go first? You go first, you go first. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Hazy, what did you think? Awesome. Awesome. Hazy, you had your hands up the whole ride. It was so cool. We've been crushing it for a while now. Brexit Doodle's legs are getting a little bit tired. So we're gonna go drive some cars right now. Uh, this has been a blast so far. It's been a huge success. I gotta say this though, we normally come in like October on Maddie's birthday, and I love when it's Halloween themed, especially the Haunted Mansion ride when it's Nightmare Before Christmas themed. It is so much better, so much fun. Okay guys, I think we're going in here. We got Hazy, okay. Like future cars, yeah, like that. That's so this so is one that the kids love right here. You can jump in and drive the car, but this has been incredible. The weather's been pretty mild, but nice and sunny. Crowds have been pretty mild as well. It's been a fantastic day. We're missing mom like crazy. Wish you were here, love you like crazy, but we're surviving, we're doing it. Guys, we're burning some rubber out here on the track with Brexy Doodle, he's the man behind the wheel. Watch out, right guy, we're coming for ya! We're switching parks once again. We have done a pretty good combination of Disneyland and California Adventure today. We've never done two parks in once. I gotta say, we really need to just spend one day in a park because there's a lot to do. It's a lot of walking. The kids are kind of wearing down, but they just keep getting these like second winds of energy. And I keep thinking, oh, they're not gonna make, oh, look at this, it's gonna go overhead right now. We're heading back over to California Adventure. The lines are getting extra long in Disneyland, but in California Adventure, they're not as bad. We're gonna go tear it up there. The sun's starting to go down. It's getting a little cooler, but don't sweat. I've got jackets. Many of you might've been thinking to yourselves, like, how did he pack? There's no way he's gonna remember all of the essentials that Mindy would remember. Do you guys even have clean underwear? But guys, I gotta give myself a little pat on the back here because I did remember to bring band-aids. Wipies, we've been using the wipies. We had to use the band-aids, Hazy scraped your knee. I did have to watch Mindy's old packing videos to figure out what to pack and how to pack. And then I also got the help of Stephanie Ravelli before I took off. We used her stroller and she gave me some packing tips, specifically the band-aids, which I was grateful for. We've had everything that we need today. We've been able to do a ton of stuff. And Maddie just took off to go say hi to some friends. She keeps seeing friends, she knows. Guys, I've been waiting for this moment all day. Who's cold and wants the jacket? You're cold? You're cold, you want a jacket? Hazy's already got her jacket. I've been carrying around this bag that just has jackets in it and sweatshirts all day. I felt so dumb, because it was so hot, I'm like, they're not even gonna need them. It felt like a total waste. They're begging for jackets. Yes, we got wipes right here. Hazy's got a band-aid on her leg. Dad's prep is coming through. All right, who wants this coat? Here we do, there you go. Next coat coming out of the magic coat bag, right guy? That's for you, buddy. And the next coat out of the magic coat bag is Dad. Like, and booyah, Brexit Doodle. <laughs> yes, my coat! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. in here it's just us why are you guys in the back hi <laughs> hazy guys i heard you right. moving dad that's moving hey right guy hey brax <laughs> okay this is actually going pretty fast you guys <laughs> did you get them it is just after nine o'clock, like 9.15. We got the fireworks show coming up in 15 minutes. These dudes are wearing down, but they still think they can go hard. You think you can go make it till 11? Can we make it till this place closes? I think yeah, so. Can can we try. Hey, we're gonna try. She is loving this, you guys. This has been nuts, it's been so much fun. Fireworks are going off right in front of us here in about 10 minutes. They're gonna do a little dance party. I imagine Hazy's gonna be participating in that. Mom, forgive me for all of the food and souvenirs that we've bought. We're coming home tomorrow. We can't possibly spend too much more. Fireworks coming at you next.
Happy. Yeah. What'd you think? Thanks for joining us for Mickey's Mix Magic. Thank you so much. I'll just hug you in. So We've got crew pooped out over here. These two falling asleep in a stroller. It is officially over. This thing is done. We've had the most insane time with Maddie here in Disneyland. Oh, yeah. So fun. The craziest day, the most fast paced day. We were watching the vlog of when we surprised the kids yesterday morning, and I was like, that yeah. feels like a month ago. That was yesterday. <laughs> and now here we are, completely spent, totally pooped. Pretty crazy. Right, guy? You hung in there like a champ. Maddie's got school in the morning, so she's got to get back home. Sorry to bring that up. We've got a flight to catch tomorrow. We've got to oh, get yeah. back home. But mom's coming home. We're going to see her, so we're going to close it from here right inside Disneyland. We hope you've had a great time hanging out with us on this crazy trip that we decided to do. <laughs> I think totally worth it. You think so? Yeah, probably, yeah. For sure. And to be able to hang with Maddie for a couple days has been amazing as well. Smash that like button, as always. We love you guys. Thanks for all the amazing feedback on the surprise video. It's been so much fun seeing the response to that. We love you guys. We love doing crazy fun things like this for you guys, as well to create incredible memories as a family together. Join us tomorrow on the flight home and our reunion with mom, and we will see you guys then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hello and good morning, you guys. We are wrapping up our last third day here in California. We're starting it by wrapping it up. So we're packed up, we're ready to hit the road. Kids yeah. are looking awesome. Yeah. They've been so helpful this morning, kind of just staying out of the way to while dad packed, worked, finished up the vlog, got that posted, insane vlog, check it out. I was so proud of these kids facing their fears, every single one of them doing a ride that they're yeah. a little afraid of, except crew, because I don't think he's afraid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> these guys conquering some fears. Hazy even got on a roller coaster. <laughs> Gotta watch that vlog if you haven't seen it. But today, we are flying home, we're going back to see mom, and there's people walking around outside our window looking at us. Before we leave, mom left a special treat behind for the kids, a little something Ooh. to make sure that they don't forget her, that they remember her, that they know how much she loves them. And I wanted to make sure they had that before they saw mom, because we're gonna go home, mom's going home, we get reunited tonight. So stick around for the end of the vlog when we get back together. But before we go, guys, mom made these for you. It's just a fun little note with a little treat attached to it, because she wanted to make sure you guys know how much she loves you. So Brexy Doodle, yours is right there on top. Oh, I love this guy. I can't really read in the light there. Okay, this is Rye Guy right there. Thank you. And Kribby Doo. And Hazy. Hazy, do you want to come get your sucker? Yeah. Okay. Hazy's tired. We ran hard yesterday, guys. Just a fun little note from mom. Go ahead and Hello. check that out. Huh. Those are actually cards that a subscriber sent us, like the actual physical card, and then mom wrote in oh, them for you guys. That's cool. And then she wanted to just have you guys now, have a little you treat. Read mine for yes, me. of course. Brexton, I love you so much. You are my sweet boy. I miss you so much. He's such a big helper for daddy. I love you. Love mom. Mm. Pretty cool, right? Guys, what do you say to mom for those? Thank you. Have we missed mom on this trip? Yes. Are we super excited to see her again tonight? Yes. yes. So guys, she's gonna be getting in the car here in a little bit. She's gonna be driving home. We're gonna be getting on a plane. We gotta get Ooh. to the airport. We're gonna be flying home and we'll all be together tonight. And when we get back, mom said she's gonna share with us all the footage of what she did while she was in Vegas. Yes. First of all, hello and good morning, everyone. We have already started celebrating Michelle's birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> watched an amazing video that Daniel had made for her. One thing that I love about Michelle is she is the life of the party. Wherever she goes, people want to be around her. I really love her. She just goes freaking crazy. She's always partying. She goes on trips with us. I love. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. If you guys haven't watched her video, go over to Dan and Shell's channel and watch her video. We are now heading into the pool. Hopefully it's gonna be sunny today and it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm just I'm just taking tips on how to vlog. Oh, Brandon edits keep out going, all the time. I say, going. okay, you guys, because I say you guys all the time. So do I. It's gonna be a beautiful day. So excited to celebrate Michelle's birthday today. We are heading to Celine Dion tonight. We cannot wait to see her in concert. Mana Jo has been incredible. She has come down here and got us amazing seats by the pool every day. She's been awesome. I went on a wild goose chase hunt to find my headphones that I lost. I got up while they were still sleeping and came down here. Gosh. <laughs> yep, it was dark. Mana Jo right here has been in complete service of all of us girls this entire trip. And they tip totally lousy. They are the worst tippers I have ever, ever We had. make her sleep in the cold side of the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, seriously, on the pool. On a hide of it. <laughs> Which she has arguably every single day forced. That's true. We have we have argued to not make <laughs> every single day. We were like, you are not sleeping down there, and she right. uh -huh. insists every day. Yeah. But then today, when she woke up with every piece of clothing that she brought on her. <laughs> She was so cold, she woke up in the middle of the night to put all of her clothes on. She was that cold. And then she spent first of her day at the pool, finding us great oh, spots, wait. serving us water Did with ice. the blisters that I got? Oh my gosh. 
You guys, this is awesome. Today's a great day. My family's in Disneyland. I mean, what more can I want than to be by the pool with these great women while my family's in Disneyland? I think this is it. What's better than being at the pool than having food by the pool? Got pizzas for days. Ooh. That's probably the worst part, is being in a swimming suit at the pool, eating food. At this point in the trip, we're just owning it. <laughs> we stayed at the pool as long as we could, but now the rain is coming. I'm wondering if there's lightning, because they're making us get out. We've had a ton of fun at the pool today. We've literally been here all day. Three and a half hours, I guess that's not all day. We ate by the pool. Mana Jo works hard for her kiddos. It was awesome. She got us waters the whole time. She completely took care of us and we had a ton of fun. I mean, so much Especially fun here today on Michelle's birthday. We got kicked out of the pool because it rained. Are you sad? It's okay, Rain baby. <laughs> Let's head back and get ready for Celine Thanks for raining on my birthday, Vegas. Seriously. <laughs> we are back at the hotel room playing beauty Woo! parlor. We have several different places going where everyone's doing each other's hair, right. makeup, all the things. We are all dressed in our Celine shirts. Princess birthday girl right here Woo! is getting Mana Jo all ready. I look beautiful. You she looks beautiful. Before. This it is the after. Yeah. Oh, that's you guys, so we have decked out the room so today nice. in birthday decorations. Nice. Also, the girls last night, me, Brittany, and Lindsay, while Jolene and Michelle were sleeping, we decorated the room. We also had a grand old time putting balloons up our shirts and pretending we were pregnant. Kind of like you do whenever you're 13 at sleepovers. What she's she's, she's trying to do it again. We literally stood right here and did plenty of boomerangs in this very mirror. And we eventually woke Michelle up from laughing so hard <laughs> at one in the morning. And Mandy just did my hair. We just curled hair. Lindsay's so doing her makeup. Crazy. Brittany's doing her hair and makeup. We're just getting all ready. Guys, Woo! Lindsay and I are actually matching skirts, shirts. We Ooh. do a lot of matching in the Bingham family. I haven't noticed yet. No. <laughs> Kids and moms. Yes. Dad is having fun playing in Disneyland right now. I know you guys don't let me sing this day that he's actually in Disneyland. You haven't watched the video where he surprised me with taking the kids on a trip that I've been wanting to go to. He did that. So you should go watch that video. I'll have him put it right here for you. We are walking down Las Vegas Boulevard on the strip here. There's a lot going on here. A lot of offers, a lot of cards having a lot of things that are just not like home. We're getting a lot of people staring at us because all of us have our Celine shoots, our Celine shirts on. We are drawing quite the crowd here. We have some time to kill before we go over to the concert, so we decided to go down Link Street. I think that's what it's called. I've never been here before. So we are walking down. We just put our name in at a reservation for some dinner tonight, for some Mexican food. It's like absolutely beautiful. Palm trees, so pretty here. Life is short, you always have to start with dessert first. So we came to Sprinkles. We have not had dinner yet, but we are going to eat our Sprinkle Cupcakes. Oh, Sissy got a birthday one. Yeah. And a free cookie for my birthday. And a free cookie, because it's her birthday. Fun fact, when I first met the Bingham family, I used to say birthday, and I never put the H in birthday. Birthday. So we are starting with little teeny tiny cupcakes before dinner, before the concert, before dinner. So we're starting early. Oh, on top of it, like this. Uh, 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 <laughs> I dropped my cupcake. I dropped the first cupcake. She was nice and gave me a second cupcake. And I dropped that one too, but <laughs> I'm eating it. We are just approaching the Coliseum where we will go in and see the show. We are here. We just walked into the Coliseum where Celine Dion will be performing tonight. Line is forming. Got our tickets. We're heading up. We are super excited. Cannot wait to see Celine Dion. We're right here. Okay. Okay. There's no flash photography or video, but regular photos are fine. Okay, perfect. If you step out, we have to wait till the song's over to let you back in. Okay, perfect. We're going to be right down here in row F starting at 501. Enjoy the show. Cool, thank you. I can't breathe up here. There's a elevation is too tough. Feel the breathe out.
this show. <laughs> Did you guys love it? Yes. Mana Joe, thank, so thank you so much. Thank you, Mana Joe. Thank you. Thank all of you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, we love you. Yeah, thank you, we love you. We love you. That was amazing. That was a dream come true. Wow. Yeah, honestly, awesome. truly. Celine, we love you. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> We met one of our amazing followers tonight, you guys. Her name is Katie, she's in Australia, and she's here tonight. She went to Celine Dion, and we were able to find her after the concert and had a great long talk with her, and it was absolutely incredible. Like, she brought me to tears incredible. Katie, thank you for watching. We even got to give her a thank you, we love her, with all the Bingham babes with me. Woo! It was so sweet. It was very fun, yes. it made the night even more special. Today was a fantastic day. We had a ton of fun. We laid by the pool, went shopping. We just had a great day. It was so fun to celebrate with Shell. Got dessert, then went to Celine, then got dinner. Then got dessert again. And I want to get dessert again. Oh, want orange juice? Do you want your sucker too? Are you tired from yesterday at Disneyland? I love you. I can have orange juice. Yes, yeah. let's go get some right now. Want to? Yeah. Guys are waiting for our Uber. It was a Lyft this time, but it happens to be a Toyota Sienna minivan. So we're literally oh, yeah. getting back into our own car to get to the airport right now. All right, there's our ride, you guys. Oh, look at this. That's a pretty sweet move. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's go jump in, guys. Ready? Everybody good? Are you guys being best friends or just pretend that's <laughs> best Are we ready to take off? Yeah. Ready to go back home and see mommy? Yeah. Okay guys, we're about to take off. We're pretty stoked. We got the whole back row to ourselves. The boys are over there all together. Me and Hazy are back here sharing a seat. And we've got an extra spot next to us for some extra room for snuggling. But, but who's going to sit there? Nobody. I thought we could lay down and snuggle. You want to snuggle? Yeah. Are you the snuggle boss? Yeah. Did you know that on the video with Maddie, she started recording and you said, I am the snuggle boss. I'm the snuggle boss. Okay, guys. I'm the snuggle boss because I always snuggle daddy. Are you a little bit tired? No. Uh, I'm going to show you Ew. So let me show you my little new character. Then here's Darcy. Here's um, Ew's um, little pet, Florida, and so sparkly. And here's the little mermaid brush. Here's the little sea. Then here's Dashin. But Dashin is an evil crab, but he's not evil. He's nice to Arrow. He's Arrow's pet. checked out of our hotel. We came to go shopping a little bit at the premium outlets here in Las Vegas because they're the best. You have to get the best shopping whenever you're on vacation, especially on a girls trip. All three of us may have done some damage. Ugh. Sorry husbands, but Sorry, we had fun. And Lindsay actually bought something for her husband. Wasn't that nice of her? I don't know if it's gonna fit. Stay tuned. Sorry honey, you're freakishly long and nothing fits you at normal stores. <laughs> we are about to get into the car and head home for our six hour drive. It's gonna be great. We have plenty of treats. It's gonna be awesome. Up to get some food and we decided to take it a high class today sitting in the drive-thru of Del Taco the only place that you can feed your entire family for ten dollars <laughs> so they're actually gonna take a minute oh wow we got one bag we got two bags here we go here we go is that all is that all yeah 
Thank you. Yeah. This is Lindsay's first time having Del Taco. Did they remember my soft tacos? Oh. Wait. Let's double check. I you. don't know. One thing to know, you always check your food before you drive away. You do. In, a, so. in a drive through 100%. We really wanted to make sure that we didn't wait until after Cedar City because all those small towns have nothing but garbage food and we wanted to make sure to get the good stuff. So we stopped in Cedar City. One of our five traveling tips. And went to Del Taco. Because we did not want to eat just junk, as you can see right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. No junk, no more junk food for us. We really want to fuel our body with, yeah, with really, good really good, good we nutrition. Good food. You guys might have noticed that Brittany's not with us. She had to fly back literally this morning. Her flight left at six. She got like an hour and a half or two hours of sleep and she flew back home. We miss her. We're one less in the car today. We're going to continue the road home. Lindsay, how was your very first bite of Del Taco? Yeah, Lin wait, you got to put mm -hmm. sauce on it, Lindsay! In the words of this is how we bingham. This is epic. Oh! <laughs> We are home. We've gathered here in Hazy's bedroom. We've got the kids into PJs. We just yeah. found out that mom is still almost two hours out, you guys. So she's not going to be home until Ooh, almost 11 o'clock tonight. We're not going to be able to wait up and reunite with her tonight. We're going to have to see her tomorrow, first thing in the morning. I'll be awake, obviously, but these guys have got to get into bed. It's been a long few days that we've had. One of the side benefits that I didn't anticipate in being gone is there's no cleanup to do. The house is clean because these guys were so great to clean it before we left. We came home and it's still clean. So we're just going to get oh. into bed. And we got nothing to clean up. So, mom, you're coming home to a clean house. That's a benefit. We will wait and close this vlog with mom when she gets home tonight. Did you have a great time in Disneyland? Yes. Thank was it, you. <laughs> yeah. You are very welcome. Was it, was it a fun few days? Yes. And Miss and I have a night with um, nice little tour guide. So I told these kids when we were planning the trip while mom was gone that we were going to have a bunch of sleepovers. What they didn't know was going to be in a hotel in California. <laughs> the sleepovers <laughs> are over for now. Got to get these guys into bed and we will see you when mom gets home. We just dropped off Michelle and unfortunately we were so distracted with Louie and seeing Daniel that we did not video dropping him off. But here Papa Hi. is waiting to pick up his bride. Hello. Hello Papa. Hello. How are you? What did you do without her? I had a lot of fun. <laughs> We had so much fun, and this You're is all done. because of this incredible Woo! woman right here. Yeah. Does it look like we've had a good time? You look like you've had a great <laughs> time. We love you. You're dropping off Lindsay, and then I get to go home. I'm the last best stop. Last the best of all a game. It's because we kind of live by each other. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had so much fun. I'm so sad to be dropping all these girls off. I was so happy to be able to drive your shivering, freezing cold. It's really cold here. Sitting it's not really cold. I'm going to go in and squeeze our kiddos. It's kind of funny that every other husband has been outside waiting, but yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jet. He's in there somewhere. Sound <laughs> asleep. Hello, Vegas. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, your suitcase came back the same size. But, but you brought a couple Andrew. extra. <laughs> Will this explain why you're home a little later? Maybe. <laughs> hey, you took our kids to Disneyland without telling me. And yet you still love me. <laughs> I still came home. <gasps> oh, I thought you got me flowers. I bought those before we left. Oh, my Gosh. We're closing a vlog together. We're together again. And not at Disneyland. We're Vegas. How crazy, guys. We're back home. We've just been catching up. A little bit of a novel of information. Oh my gosh. You maybe talked the on the phone once because there was just so much going on at all times. So we just kind of caught up. I about heard a little bit about Vegas. She's been asking questions about oh. Disneyland. We have so much more to talk about. The kids did have clean underwear in case you were all wondering. <laughs> that was everybody's favorite part. And I did pack pretty well, I felt like, for the situation, Sounds for the like occasion. I did pretty good. I did okay. I had some help. I definitely, I was telling Minnie this. I gained a major appreciation for all that mom does so that we can have fun. It's mom who it's takes hard. care of all of that stuff so that we can have fun. <laughs> it was like an awakening that I realized, it's not like I didn't know how much you did, I just realized how much you enable me to be like fun and obnoxious. Mm, and so it's really it's your awesome. fault is what I'm saying. That's all the time we have for this vlog. <laughs> but seriously, I will tell you this. Our kids had a ton of fun. I haven't seen them yet, so I'll see them tomorrow morning. Luckiest kids in the world to have a dad <laughs> like this. Moms are too logical to know that that's probably not a smart idea. <laughs> you guys. That's why I gotta do these things with moms away. We love you. Tomorrow our first real summer break day as a family. Yes, together as a family. So, so excited to do that to together. Warm. We brought the warm weather home with us from yes. Vegas and California. We collectively had to go out and get it and bring it back to Utah. I'll do that anytime. <laughs> we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us and thanks for staying tuned for these weird vlogs. Come back tomorrow. We're going to have our official start to summer. See you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello, good morning everybody. What's up? It's Friday. Getting ready for the weekend. It's gonna be an amazingly magical day, you guys. Last day of school this week, guys. Super stoked. Getting ready, getting hair combed, getting kids out the door. But first, guys, we got one more thing on the bucket list that we forgot to cross off. Bucket list? Hair is looking good. Yeah, so just that one thing that we forgot to cross off. We got a this last one. We did was it was a pumpkin no. cart. We haven't done that. Oh no. That's coming up later. No. Oh, there it is. Oh, here. Whoa! <laughs> Vacation!
vacation time, baby. We're packed up, ready to I rock. I got this shirt on. That must mean we're going on vacation. We're not going to school today. We're no, taking a we are not, break. unless we're going to the school of Disneyland. <laughs> We have had this vacation planned for quite some time. We wanted to go to Disneyland, surprise you guys with it. Now's the time. Today's the day. We're packing things up, headed off to Long Beach. So we got to get to the airport. The reasonable. I forgot that we were going there. To Long Beach? I know. And what's the thing that you like most about flying into Long Beach? That you get to go on to the airport grounds. That's right. You get off the airplane outside on the runway. Fun. Kind of a fun thing. Now, guys, it wasn't long ago. In fact, it was just a few months ago that me and the boys did this trip. I surprised them right here at this island with a trip to Disneyland. Mom was on a girl's trip to see Celine Dion in Las Vegas. The boys Boys thought, yes, and Hazy, of course, and Hazy, sorry. I was just thinking of the boys lined up here. I remember Hazy had to go pee in the middle of the announcement, and that was absolutely priceless. But I told the boys they were sitting right here, and I was like, hey guys, where do you gotta go for breakfast? Let's go to breakfast. Then I was like, you know what? Let's just go to Disneyland. Anyways, doing that again today, you guys, flying into the same airport. But this time, we're not just going for one day, you guys. We're going for three days in Disneyland, and we've got some other fun and exciting things we're taking care of while we're there as well. Because we've been making you wait to figure out the vacation and stuff, we won't make you wait to see what's going on on this vacation. We're gonna be doing Disneyland California Adventure for three days. We're gonna be going to the Santa Monica Pier, hanging out at the roller coaster, the Ferris wheel. We are going to the Famous Birthdays headquarters. We're gonna be interviewed for our profiles on Famous Birthdays. So that's gonna be really fun, the whole family. And then I have a very special event with GoPro that is coming up on Tuesday? Tuesday night, actually it's Tuesday all day. Tuesday night's the event at YouTube headquarters with GoPro. They're having me come out there and participate in this panel discussion where they're talking about using GoPros in YouTube videos, something that you guys know we do very regularly, that we love doing, and that is a huge part of especially these Disneyland vacations because it's the only thing you can really do to get epic video of roller coaster rides and the beach and the ocean and waterproof action camera and all those other things. So that's what we got going on today. Packing things up, getting the car loaded, getting these kids off to California. And we will be in Disneyland today, you guys, eating churros, riding rides. We've never really done that. We usually show up and we have like a day where we do stuff. But we're like, go swimming or something. Go swimming at the pool, just kind of kill some time until the next full Disney day. But guys, we're doing it out of the gates today. You will be with us in Disneyland. We wanted to surprise our YouTube subscribers, our YouTube family with a trip to Disneyland. I am ready. The Ohey Vacay with the fanny. Oh, where's my fanny? Right here, honey. Right there. <laughs> Guys, without a doubt, the heaviest bag I bring is the vlog gear. Bags are loaded up, house is secure, we're ready to head out. It is 35 degrees right now here, 35. That is just above freezing, it is frigid. We are all in shorts because today in Anaheim, it's going to be 95. We're gonna make a 60 degree jump from where we are right now, from here in Utah to Disneyland, out in California. I'm ready for some warmer weather. Guys, we just got here, we just got out of the car. Update on the temperature, 31 degrees. Brexton, you are so in shorts warm. and short sleeves. You guys need to get your jackets on, we're not there yet. I, While we're I'm here, warm. I can literally, can you see this? You can see your breath like so easily. Let's get our gear, let's get into this airport and let's get to warmer weather, you I guys. need warm. <laughs> Guys, these suitcases have seen some serious action. Oh, first and diamond, they're calling us. Oh, JK sorry. guys. So I was, go. just gonna, I was just gonna tell you a little bit of an airport hack that we've done in the past. Every trip this year so far, we bring the foldable tiny stroller for Hazel, and it gets us like right after first class boarding. We didn't bring it this time because we're gonna rent a stroller at Disneyland. We don't really need one, and we realized, oh wait, that means we're loading with well, a basic. In we the didn't back. even bring one last time because I had my scooter. Oh, you mean DC? But you didn't have that for Puerto Rico, did you? Did last time? Oh yeah, for DC. This would be us right now. They'll be calling for now, but instead, there's this giant line forming that we are in the very back of. But we don't have anything to put in the overhead. Everything's stowing underneath. We're gonna be totally easy. fine. We are in the and back. And we're always by the bathroom. We're literally always in the back row by the bathrooms and I think they stick families there or large groups. Guys, look, those are our suitcases going on right now. That one and that one. Loading up. Thank you. Long Beach, here we come. Guys, who wants to sit by me? Raise your hand. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're all set, ready to take off. Hello.
right guys, it's time for your favorite part. Time for everybody's favorite part? Yes, getting off the plane. I can tell you immediately already I can feel the temperature change from the 30s to gotta be in the 80s right now. This is unreal. This is warm, delicious, beautiful. You're here and it is, it's a scorcher. You know, you think that you're like freezing at home and you're like, oh, it'll be so nice to get in the hot temperatures. Then you get here and you're like, okay, I'm sweating. 93, just checked. It's Legit. pretty warm and it feels amazing. It's the perfect temperature, perfect weather to be on vacation. So it couldn't be better. And hey, I'm wearing the shirt, so it has to be warm weather. Kids absolutely love the Long Beach airport because they get to walk right off of the, what do you call that thing, the jet? The jetway is what I've been calling right it. Right off I don't the jetway. But... We are just sitting here waiting for our car to come, just enjoying the nice heat. Cars arrived, it's loaded up, and let's get to the hotel, guys. It's Disneyland time. Right now. Finally. There's no waiting. It's go time. Just got to the hotel, you guys, and it is fully decked out in Disney and Halloween. Oh it's my so gosh, fun. this is so cool. This time of year is fully decked out and decorated at Disneyland. Look how fun it is to have the hotel lobby, elevators, everything decorated. Oh. Oh. Here's our home, you guys, with bunk beds. I call bunk beds. Oh. <laughs> Look how fun! How fun is this? <laughs> We were thinking that we needed to do the two rooms. We've kind of learned that two rooms is what we need for a family our size. But this is good. This is a nice setup. It's spacious. You've got the double bunk beds right here. Yeah, we'll fit our whole family. Maddie's gonna come stay with us, but we figured two kids can Well, way to ruin that surprise, guys. Maddie's joining us. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. She's actually going to her high school football game tonight. She wanted to go to the football game, support her team. She's gonna come visit us maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. She'll be here tomorrow, guys. We're gonna be having a great time with her. I'd like to give you just quick little tours of our hotel rooms. We've got the separate shower and tub. Nice to have that be two separate ones there. Nice double sink with the cool lit mirror. I like that, super lit. Nice big closet right here. What's around here? Oh, this is just is like an open like, walk-in area. Your, like, luggage. Oh, yes, you can stick the, guys. You know what, that's also a perfect spot if you had a baby for a pack and play. Super, super impressed with this hotel. We've never stayed at this one before. When I came with the kids earlier this year, like right when summer started, we stayed actually across the street. Not this way, it must be the other way. Across the street that way. Fairfield and also a Marriott property, but it was great. It was perfect for our needs, but this, much, much better, much nicer. And it's gonna be great for the next few days, guys. It was kind of a whirlwind getting out of the house this morning. I don't know if we really detailed or explained very well what's going on here. We are going to be at Disneyland for the next three days. We're gonna be getting a park hopper pass, Disneyland and California Adventure. We have never taken that much time to just really enjoy ourselves. It's always been a mad rush to get as much as we can out of one park one day, as much as we can out of the next park the next day. Three days we're gonna be doing here, just kind of taking our time, taking it easy. And for our first day, we're only gonna be really knocking out like a half day. So I thought we would kind of do it different than we've normally done Disneyland. We're gonna go check out the decor. We're gonna go see some of the more slow laid back stuff. And then we will save the crazy full send roller coasters and rides for the the following two days. So today, come with us, join us as we walk through Disneyland, take in some of the sights and sounds, enjoy some of the Halloween decorations, some of the things that make it awesome at this time of year. The other two things that we've got going on while we're here, you guys, we're knocking out two other events while we're here. One, we are going to the Famous Birthdays headquarters. We're gonna do some on-camera interviews, a Q&A type thing that will be on our FamousBirthdays.com profiles. That should be rad and a lot of fun. And also, I'm actually out here for an event with GoPro where they're gonna be doing like some filming, some instruction, how to use GoPros more creatively in YouTube videos. And there's gonna be a panel discussion at the YouTube space LA that I've been invited to so incredibly excited about that so excited in fact that I had to pre-order the new GoPro Max 360 degree camera and have it delivered to the hotel so when I checked in they said Mr. Bingham there's been a package delivered for you we have it here at the front desk it's my GoPro Max I can't wait to take that out on some of these roller coaster rides and give you a full 360 degree perspective of what it's like here at Disneyland in California that's what we're doing here that's what's on the agenda mark it down smash the like button subscribe if you haven't make sure you come back every day because this is going to be an incredibly fun trip you guys and we did it because we wanted to share some fun activities with you guys and surprise you guys with a trip to Disneyland. Whoop, whoop! <laughs> Can we talk about the next big thing going down today? Breaking out my brand new fanny pack that mom got for me. Check it out. Brand new. First time using it here at Disneyland. Mom, you got your fanny? Got my fanny. Daisy's got her fanny. Daisy, you got your fanny? Check. Stayed walking distance from the park. So this is our hotel right here. This is the one with the water park that we could see from our hotel we stayed at last time, which is that one right there. And this is Space Mountain right behind me. So that is Disneyland right across the street. So we're just walking across the street going into the park today. Joke. 97 today. We left this morning. It was 31. We need to stay hydrated. <laughs> Mickey Mouse and some of his best pals together with the Disneyland Band as we proudly present the Mickey and Friends Fantastic Cavalcade.
We said we were gonna take a chill. We started off with a nice parade, a little leisurely walk, but we don't really know how to do that for very long. So we're going on Indiana Jones. It's our first time as a family going to Indiana Jones. Even Brex is tall enough. He's gonna be sitting with me. I got crew and Rag Guy with me. Mom and Hazy went to the Jungle Cruise ride. About to enter the Temple of Doom right now. Kind of trippy. We were waiting a big long line out there, and we actually intentionally chose it because it's in the shade. It's so hot, but it's entirely covered in trees and shade. And then once you get past like the little gatekeeper at the entrance of the temple, I guess, whatever you wanna call that, you just fly through. Like we're just walking straight with no stopping. So I'm not sure how long this line's gonna be. We are moving real quick now. Just got up here, Brexy Doodle, not so sure he wants to do it, but he's mustering up the strength, the courage. Just found out we're also gonna be front row. Bro, are you ready for this? Whoa! Yes, you are, yes you are. Crew, I think you're gonna be driving, bro. Yeah. Brexy has requested to have Rye Guy and me sit on either side of him, so he feels good. All right, boys, crew, ah! hey, drive good. Last time I came on this, the driver was terrible, okay? Brexy, are you ready? All we gotta do is hold on tight, and you can just bury your head in me if you want, okay? Here we go. Ah! You did it, dude. How was it? It was fun. Not too bad, right? I brought waters. Mom brought two. I just realized I, mean, I got know. one for Brexton. Oh, and two hot. for me. <laughs> Guys, another front row experience. Yeah, what? No, we can fit four people. Place is coming alive here oh, at night. It's like perfectly around, it's perfectly around you here. Let's do it so we can see right there. There we go. Sun has set. Beautiful, perfect weather. Amazing start. This is when the three days really comes in handy because it is oh, only man. 7 p.m. and the kids are spent. It's been a day of traveling, a day of being on airplanes and waiting in airports. They're and then already tired. They're toasted. And normally we would be like, no, this costs too much money. We're going to run it till the wheels fall off. We're staying till fireworks. But no, tonight. That's the perk of being here for three days. Tonight we're like, you know what? Let's pack it in. Let's head back to the hotel. Let's get a good night's rest and come back to kill it tomorrow. Guys, tomorrow we're going to have so much action for you. Maddie's gonna be here. We're hitting all the Savage Coasters. It's gonna be insane, so make sure you come back. Smash the like button, guys, for a surprise trip to Disney. Hopefully you enjoyed that surprise. It's a fun family vacation we couldn't wait to share with you guys. You guys, we love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. We are starting out today another full day of Disney and California Disney adventure. <laughs> the best part about today is we have Maddie here with us. Better. How cute! We are so excited to crush another full day at Disneyland. We've got our fanny packs on. Dad's got his fanny pack on. We all have matching shirts. Have matching shirts. Max Pass and stuff. We're gonna do Haunted Mansion today in our Haunted Mansion. Well, they're not Haunted Mansion. Night Before Christmas shirts. These kids glow in the dark. This is gonna be the best day at Disney we've ever had in it's our lives. It's gonna be amazing. And Show them the back of your shirt. Oh yeah. Look well, good. I don't know what it looks like back there. These kids yeah. all have matching shirts. Woo. Oh yeah. Even Hazy. Okay. She's still eating breakfast. We got breakfast on the go to come right, into the right park. Now. We wanted to get in here right as soon as it opens. And everything's like a five to 10 minute wait. Let's yes. go take advantage yes. of that. Yes. <laughs> first ride of the day, we left dad with Hazy Ooh. because she's too little and I have not done this ride in a couple of years. First ride of the day, you guys, Space Mountain, we're so excited. Ooh. Are we gonna crush it? Yeah. Rex, yeah. you're so brave. This is a big ride. This is something that we did last time we came earlier this year. Maddie took the boys on Space Mountain to start the day off. How do they go up and down? And Hazy and I went on the cool little rockets over in Tomorrowland, and then yeah, we did Buzz going... Lightyear right after, right? Yeah, but how do you go up and down? So Hazy's gonna drive us. We're about to fly oh, right now. It, this is up and this is down. <laughs> this is up and down. This whole life is up and down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
going downstairs. Oh, we're going down into the submarine haze. Okay, go ahead and step down. I'm gonna hold your hand because those are pretty steep. Give me a little more. Dad, we're already getting the ocean, but now what are we going to do? Dad, it's oh. blue! Dad, we're going down the ocean. Dad, we're going down the ocean. Dad, we're going down the ocean. for the second ride. We are doing Autotopia. We're gonna ride cars around a track. Woo! Kids are gonna earn their driver's license. I'm going by myself. What? You're I'm a big boy now. I'm, I'm able to, guys. but I wanna go with Maddie since I haven't gone here. Uh oh. Because I'm very sad. Who wants to go with me? Rexy. Anyone, anyone? Yes. No one ever wants to go with me. This is one of the kids' favorites, the Autotopia. They get to drive cars. I'm going with Rex, crew and Maddie, mom and Hazy, and Ragga got his own car, feeling like a big bad boss. It's hard. Braxton, <laughs> where are you going, Braxton? Groovy and I are on Autotopia, and Groovy's driving. Oh, I'm really scared. This should be. Ah! Every time we get in line for this ride, I think this is kind of a lame ride. Why does it seem so cool for the kids? To be able to feel like you're the one driving a car at this age, incredible. You're not meant to do that. No. Fun little family hack if you've got kids of varying ages. One of the things that we love to do is we had bigger kids go on Space Mountain. They absolutely love that. I took Hazy on those fun little Tomorrowland airplanes. We hit a Buzz Lightyear ride. And then we even did the Finding Nemo ride all while they were doing Space Mountain. Because it's a longer line, it's not for kids of certain heights. You can take the little kids on some little kid rides around while they kill some time on the big kid rides. Now we're all back together to the Autotopia. Now we're gonna hit a big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which if you guys remember from the last time we were here, that's the first roller coaster Hazy ever went on. I'm gonna try and bring it to you 360 degrees. We'll see how that goes. Then we've got Haunted Mansion and Splash Mountain. We are crushing the Max Pass today for whatever reason. A new one comes up available every 20 minutes. It used to be like a longer time spread apart, but I feel like we were going max pass, max pass, max pass, and we were getting so many rides in today. I've already gotten through like five or six. I think rides. we've already done like five. We've only been here for like 90 minutes. We've got three more max passes lined up, and we've got the entire day to crush California Adventure as well. And then we have tomorrow. What? Let's go! We're trying our very first ever 360 video on Big Thunder Mountain. This is actually the first roller coaster Hazy ever went on. First 360 video of our lives coming up right now on the GoPro Max. Check it out. Woo! GoPro Max 360 guys, it's gonna be insane. <laughs> Pretty spectacular guys, hopefully you enjoyed that in possibly 360. We've been crushing the Max Pass situation, then we ran into a quick snag. The only thing we came here for, well not the only thing, but the reason you come at this time of year, what's so amazing, is the Haunted Mansion Night Before Christmas themed. You guys, literally, we actually wore shirts just for that. We got our Max Pass, it came up with the Fast Pass, we got there, it's closed, which happens, temporary closed. Yeah. We're hanging on to that Fast Pass, and in the meantime, we're hitting Winnie the Pooh for Hazy, she's gonna love it. Splash Mountain is our next Fast Pass, right over there, we're gonna crush those. As soon as Haunted Mansion becomes available, we're running right to it. When are we gonna eat? Played that perfectly, the Winnie the Pooh stall tactic. Hello. Haunted Mansion, now open, now available. I'm so excited. We got excited. our shirts, we're ready to this go. This is Let's... my favorite part of Disneyland yeah. at Halloween time. Yes, no joke, the October Halloween theme stuff. The best part of all, I love the giant Mickey pumpkin head, totally cool, yeah. but by far, Haunted Mansion. Yeah. And guys, this is what's so special about this time of year for us, because I came to Disneyland more often during this time of year than any other time, because we always came for Maddie's birthday. Yeah. Like when I was with Hazy and we split off and did our own little thing and I just had this little four year old with me, it reminded me of coming with you when like you were super tiny uh -huh. and that's all we had was just you just yeah. running around doing all the little kitty rides so, so memories fun. memories <laughs> now we watch horror movies and do haunted mansions but still my little girl
just came off Haunted Mansion. No joke, not only is it like so much better at this time of year than any other time. So much better. But on top of that, so it becomes good. like my favorite ride. Yeah. I just love it. This time of year, it trumps everything. The vibe, the movie, the colors. I just love it so I much. I totally agree. We just finished that up. Now we're gonna grab a bite to eat, kind of slow things down a little bit. We got two Fast Passes coming up for Splash Mountain, and then a Universal one that we can use absolutely anywhere. We're thinking we would like to use that if possible for like Indiana Jones, maybe something that yeah, Mindy that can do. She hasn't fun. done. Maddie wasn't here to do that one. Anyways, guys, just crushing it today, guys. The day is going perfect. The weather's perfect. Everything perfect. Maddie. Perfect. 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 <laughs> Next up on our tour, Splash Mountain 360. Rexy, how you feeling, buddy? Oh. Little nervous? Okay, it's going up. Here we go. Maddie, you guys ready? Yeah. There they go. Oh! Three, two, one, Sandy. <laughs> if we get wet, it's going to be very cold. Three, two, one. Mom and Maddie and Rye Guy and Brex went on Indiana Jones. They're out there. And right next door to that is this giant tree house that I don't think we've ever climbed. And while I'm waiting with Hazy, crew decided to join us, take it easy with us for a little bit. We're gonna go to the top of this Tarzan's tree house. Literally never done it before, so I don't even know what it is. We're gonna find out. We just barely finished up in Disneyland. We did a ton. I can't say that there's anything that we didn't get to do that we wanted to. We have never like hard. maxed the max pass like we did on this Yeah, one. we it crushed it hard. It was awesome. So now we're gonna head over to Disney California Adventure. Guys, I think that I like Disney California Adventure better than Disneyland. I really truly like the rides over there. I like the shows over there. I don't know. Sometimes I just like it better. So we haven't spent very much time over here. We may start over here tomorrow morning too. Gonna head in there, maybe grab a sweet treat. We have some fast passes lined up. We're just gonna go crush it over there now. Our kids are gonna be so tired when we're done. We still have a whole nother day. That's the perfect part about doing a three-dayer is like you're not stressed to like run sun up to sundown. We didn't get here when they opened. We came in just after. And I don't know, we're just able to enjoy it a little bit more. It's our first time ever doing it and we have loved it. This is a treat that one of our followers stopped us over in Disneyland. She says, okay, I've got one piece of advice for you. You need to go over to California Adventure Park and you need to get one of these caramel apple smoothies. Here we are, we came. Thank you for the recommendation. Minutes later, we're here consuming one. Or six. <laughs> Mom, My still, I, look at those guys. Enough. I'm done, mine's gone. Mom's still trying to get a picture of hers. We got some downtime in between a little small opening. Mom's in Do they have rides a here? caramel. <laughs> no joke, we've been making that joke the entire time. It's like, did you know that they actually have rides at Disneyland? Well, and we were talking earlier for lunch. We were like, you guys are hungry? And Maddie was like, are you ever hungry at Disneyland? I no, you like, just eat because it's here. And then we joke all day like, did you guys, delicious. I think I saw a ride over there. I think they have a ride at this at this food place. <laughs> have rides here. They have rides at this food place. It's crazy. A little bit of downtime in between our rides right now. In between our fast passes, I should say. So what we're going to do is some standby wait for Incredicoaster because we want to knock that out twice because we're so viciously excited about it. And these two with Hazy are gonna go do Ariel Little Mermaid. I feel like Ariel's going Prado. on a ride like that after this could be a bad Dangerous. Combo. So I think Maddie's agreeing with you. We're like a, in a little bit of a sugar coma. Okay, so you two, you three I should say, you ladies. Are you gonna do Ariel? No, um, her and her and me. You three, okay. Girl power, Ariel on three. One, two, three, Ariel! All right guys, me and Brex on Incredicoaster. Brex, are you ready? Yeah. It's gonna count us down, here we go. Oh look, hi Jack Jack! <laughs> Woo! 
We are going on the Little Mermaid ride. Daisy wanted to. Boys are going on a big boy ride. Took some girl time to go on Little Mermaid and we're almost there. We're in our little seashell. We're gonna go under the sea. <laughs> the max pass situation right now. I know I've said that multiple times, but we just finished Incredible Coaster twice because we had multiple fast passes for that. So I had a chance to go with oh. just Mindy. So a little date minute there because Maddie it was about four hey. minutes of a date. That was pretty good. It was unreal. And now we have already Soaring Over the World coming up next. One of our very favorite, in fact, probably our top two favorite rides here are Soaring Over the World and Incredible Coaster. Doing them back to back right now. No waiting, no lines. Max passing it up, crushing it as the sun goes down, but the day is not over yet. You guys ready to go soaring over the world? Heck yeah. Hazy, you ready to go soaring over the world? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the sky, we're heading out there. Are you guys ready? finish up soaring over the world. We're gonna probably do a little more hanging out, chilling here under the cool lights and stuff. I don't know if we're gonna make it to fireworks though. No. So I think we're gonna wrap it up for tonight, call it a day, but we do have a full day tomorrow. And the plan I believe is to attack California Avenger first. We're gonna come here first, do Cars Land, Guardians, all the stuff we didn't get to do today. So don't worry guys, it's coming for you. Come back for more Disney fun tomorrow. We love you all so much. Smash the like button for Maddie being here. We love you, bye. Woo! <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. We are here for our last and final day three of Disney. It's gonna be cool a super day, fun cool day. day. We are ready. The temperatures have cooled a little bit, so we think it's gonna be a great start. I think it's gonna be the perfect weather. We're gonna start off in California Adventure today, a little bit different. Yesterday we started in Disneyland, crushed that, then we did a little bit of California Adventure today. Mostly California Adventure, Cars Ride First, Guardians of the Galaxy, all the big things. Last night I made a list of all the rides I wanna go on. I wanna go on the Elote ride, I wanna go on the Paradise Pier Punch ride. Oh wait, those aren't rides, those are Those are not rides. So those it's gonna be a big part of today, you guys. But first of all, I I'm just gonna ask this. I want you guys to smash the like button right now if you recognize this location. We're not gonna say what it is, we're not gonna give it to you just yet, but if you know what it is, if you recognize this, if you were here for this moment, smash the like button. Here's a quick hint, okay guys? There's something here that shouldn't be. 
Now tell me if you guys remember this right here. Here's our last clue. Hey mom, surprise! We're, We're in Disneyland! Disneyland. <laughs> right here this time! <laughs> last time we did this, Brexy Doodle and Crew said the cutest thing on the phone to mom because they could see she was really upset. Not that she wasn't here, but she just missed Maddie and wanted to be with her and wanted to be with us. And these boys on their own go, Mom, we're gonna do it two times this year. One for you and one for us. This time we're gonna do two trips to Disneyland. One for you, one for us. And so this is the one for mom. We're here as a family. Mom's here with us, everybody together. We did it. We're fulfilling that promise. We're living up to the That's promise right. of one for you, one for us. We're all here together. We're gonna go crush today in Disneyland. Let's go. Couple things I'm already noticing out of the gates. The weather, crisp, perfect, delicious. I don't know why I say that. Second thing I'm noticing, I am Disneyland dad to the max today. I got the Disney shirt on, the fanny pack. Mindy got me Disney socks, you guys. I'm wearing Mickey socks today. You see me, don't be embarrassed to say hi. And then the third observation today is that it is dead. Where is everybody? Other thing I'm observing is the cute adorableness of our hazy. Look at this, look at this cute sparkly bow. You've got the fun socks, the fun shoes, the red bow. Mom has got you looking cute. And guys, mom of course has got everybody decked in These matching are like outfits. like the cool studly like this is kind of like the Vans checkered. Yes, yes, Let's we call it, we actually call it the Brock and Boston checkered. Then we've got the gray shirts. I have kind of a dad's version of this shirt. Very we cool. Kind of went all out on the shirts. Now we're gonna go all out on the park. Ooh, we gotta get you home. Your mom is decontaminated, so you're good to go. The final observation I'm making is that I am constantly throughout this entire vacation recording entire segments and not hitting the record button. I just walked that entire street talking about how it's so dead here. We're on our way to Guardians. We're gonna do radiator racers. We decided to fast pass, pass the relator. It's literally like I've never vlogged in my life. I don't even know where the record button is. I didn't record the entire thing. I walked from end to end just talking to you guys about the weather, about how empty it is, about how we're gonna get so much fun in today. Anyway, suffice to say, lost it, didn't hit record, it's not actually there. But what we're gonna do right now is go tear up this park. We're gonna do a lot of fun things. It seems to be empty, a lot of short wait times. And we're gonna max that fast pass once again, starting off with some rides. Who knows? We'll see what we do. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Did I record that? That red light, it means it's on, right? <laughs> Perfect example of what I was just telling you. Guardians of the Galaxy, normally an hour plus wait. Sometimes you can't even get a max pass for it. It's a 20 minute wait, which is nothing. Bigger than that though, we just found out that Hazel is tall enough to go on this. Is it recording? It is, okay. I was using her as an excuse because I hate this ride. She doesn't want to go. She was using Hazy as a reason to not go. Turns out you don't have to be 40 inches. Hazy's 40 inches. Mom's going. Hazy's going. We're all going. Are you ready to go on your very first time on Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy? Yes, I'm going to sit by Daddy. I'm going to sit by you. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Hazy, are you a little bit nervous? No. No, she's not nervous. Because <laughs> she has no idea what she's getting into. I know, I feel kind of bad. Okay, right, guy, but the real question is, are you nervous? I'm not. Crew. You can tell when Crew's nervous because he talks a lot. He talks a lot. But he says this is his favorite ride in the park, so. Hazy, first one's in. Are you ready? Holy cow. Okay, go all the way up to the back. Back row, the whole family. And Hazy girl, I'm gonna put you, no, right here, princess. I'm gonna put you right here. And Rye Guy's gonna go in there. And you guys are all in there. Come on in, right this way. Woo! Oh, nothing to fear. There's nothing going on here. Please do come in. Hazel, are you ready for the, here, hold on. Does have a middle restraint thing for her or no? Are you ready for this? You guys ready for this? <laughs> Guardians as a family, Hazy included. Let's go. Are you ready for this? He hates this ride. Sister, she's a thrill ride. I thought that only dropped Daisy. one time. You thought it only dropped one time, That's Mindy. Right. Welcome to Guardians. The first drop, I was like, wait. I thought we only went up and then came down one time. Oh, uh, that's all you do over and over and over. Incredible. Thank you. Hazy, you did it! That was horrible. My throat hurt. <laughs> did you do Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. 
You guys, she is so brave. No, not only did she do it, she loved it. Like at no I point. I would have known what it was like. <laughs> Mom literally thought it went up once and came right back down. It's up. You literally down, just up, drop like over and over and over. That is what I hate. In the most. dark. Like Hazy had no idea what was going down the entire I, I'm time. I'm pretty sure Maddie has a fingerprint. He is like grabbing my <laughs> I grabbed her light so tight. And Rexy too. Hazel didn't even so grab shy. me. She was just observing and then the light would come on and she'd go like, oh, this is fun. I can see this. And then it would drop you again. For a minute. <laughs> and then she goes, it's awesome. Hazy, did I'm you love it? I'm so proud of <laughs> you. A little four year old, Guardians of the Galaxy oh thrill seeker. I love you. We just got done with Guardians of the Galaxy. Hazy rocked it, absolutely loved it, smiling the whole time, just taking it all in. So we stopped by and to have a character close up, we heard Anna's in here, possibly Elsa. So that's gotta be Hazy's next stop after crushing Guardians, taking her to go see her favorite princesses right now. Anna or uh, Princess Anna of Arendelle. Oh, you brought your entire kingdom here with you today. <laughs> your kingdom. Heading into one of our favorite places, Cars Land. We're gonna go do the Mater Ride. Maddie's absolute favorite. And then we're gonna do the Cars Radiator Springs Racers where you race around that in the cars. That one is my favorite, it goes so fast. We got a fast pass for that one. And we've got another fast pass coming up right after that for Toy Story Mania. These are rides that are normally very hard to get to. If you wanna do standby, they're very, very long. Or if you wanna do a fast pass, max pass, it takes your whole day up today. It's just not that busy. It's awesome. It's perfect and the weather is crisp fall weather. I know, I keep wanting to put on my sweatshirt, but I kinda like that it's a little cooler. Best last day here at Disney for sure. Time for one of our very favorites, one I've personally been looking to this entire trip. It is the Cars Radiator Spring Racers. I'm so excited. I'm so excited too, but I hope I'm not scared. How could she be scared after Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm just kidding, I'm not scared. scared, scared. <laughs> we are getting ready to go, rubbing our engine. Where's our brakes, guys? I don't know where our brakes are. Let's go. I'm so excited. We have a perfect view. Oh, there they are. Woo! should probably take my hat off. talked about it before, but they actually have rides at this giant restaurant called Disneyland. Some of our favorite stuff to do is get some food, and mom, what is your favorite thing? This sounds so gross, but my favorite thing here is corn dogs. The they corn are dogs. the best. Corn dogs from the corn dog castle. So guys, here's a very funny story. I'll be brief with it. I saw somebody walking around with this last night, and I thought it was a peanut butter and jelly corn dog, and I <laughs> wanted it so bad. Turns out, it's actually a pepper jack cheese stick with a bunch of different sauces and peppers and things like that on it, but I'm gonna give it a try. More corn dogs here. Kids are getting some pretzels. This is something I'm very excited about, that mom found. It's an horchata churro with condensed milk dipping sauce. How incredible is that gonna be?
Mindy, did the corn dog live up to the hype? Was it as good as you remembered it? Oh, well, this is my second one, did I tell you? Just to clarify, Brexton didn't finish his. And we are more than happy to help here. I'll help you help him. How about that? So after corn dogs, deep fried cheese sticks, chips, drinks, pretzels with nacho cheese sauce, what would you naturally do next? You'd go on Goofy Sky School, which is basically like the mouse trap ride, if you're familiar with that, that just chucks you from edge to edge, side to side, up and down, until you lose your lunch. I want a treat. So we are gonna go on emotional whirlwind, which doesn't that just feel like life? Emotional whirlwind? This will be fun, I'm gonna go with Hazy. 30 minute wait, that's some good time. We've got to do that. That is my favorite roller coaster. I love that thing. I guys hand out the 3D glasses. This is Toy Story Midtown Mania or something like that. Here I was going. I'm going with Dad. This is called the Toy Story ride. I'm going with Maddie. You guys know how we joke that everyone jumps and wants to sit by me and do things with me, and Mom always says like no one wants to do anything with her. As soon as Maddie gets here, I take such a backseat. It's not even funny. Everybody fighting to be with Maddie. Nobody fighting to be with either of us. Right guy wants to be with me. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Toy Story Mania, you guys. We got our 3D glasses. This is one that's kind of hard to document because I think you have to put 3D glasses on the camera. I don't know how that would even work. I have to tell you about this. I told Hazel that I loved her dimples, and now she's talking about her dimples all the time. She's like, do you like my dimples? I love them, Hazy. Show them to me. <laughs> It is no wonder this one is so popular and so awesome. This is so much fun. I wish you could see it in 3D like we're seeing it. It's so cool. It's easy to see why that one is so dang popular. That was so fun. Yeah, that was so fun. I love it because you guys, there's so many games that you get to do. And it's like they do like darts, ring tosses, like shooting arrows. Like it was just so many different things. You're breaking plates. I don't know why it's so satisfying to just sit there and do that. And these little imaginary things come flying off, pop things, break things. And it's just, I don't know. That one is so fun. It's totally fun. They always, it's totally fun. There's another one today though, guys, that normally that's just such a long wait. Or if you don't fast pass it early, you're going to miss your chance. Yeah. And just because it's a little bit slower today, we had no problem getting in on it. I had a to-do list today. Some things that I want to make sure I took care of. We're getting stuff We're done. Getting some things knocked off that list. One of them was the Paradise Pier Punch Carpet. I don't know really what you call it. This delicious frozen treat. We're getting that right now. It's tradition now. Another one was point. an elote. Yeah. Gotta grab that. The churro. I didn't even know I needed, but I did. Always need a churro. A lot of food on our to-do list today. Knocking things off one at a time. But next up, Paradise Punch. Without a doubt, the absolute best part is when it melts together, <laughs> the yellow and the blue, and becomes this perfect, delicious green slushy. It is so good. That is the best part of this entire thing. Mine's gone, so I'm just kind of like living through your guys' right now. 
we walk off with our Pixar Parfait Pier, I realize I've been saying it wrong all the time. I don't know what it's called. I'll have to go back and look at the video. But as we walk off, guys, Pixar Pier Parfait Punch. Punch. It's whatever we want it to be. This is one of my favorite places on earth. I don't know what it is about the Pixar Pier, just the whole area, the whole vibe, the colors, the movies, all of them. Absolutely love it. We're leaving that now, headed over to do some soaring over the world again, and then probably eat something. Freaking, I love that one. We are slowing things down just a little bit, gonna take a little bit of a break. We're gonna watch the Frozen show at the Hyperion Theater. It's something we did a couple years ago and it was absolutely so fun, one of our favorite things. So we're gonna do it again today. Well, we get to see the real Anna and Elsa. Is it gonna start yet? It's gonna start in about 10 minutes, is that good? No. Oh, you want it sooner? I want it sooner, they can see me back. got done with the Frozen show and once again did not disappoint. Honestly, speaking as a full grown adult, I love that show. That is so much fun. I think the kids enjoyed it as well. I know Hazy did. She actually stayed awake for the whole thing. But now, it's time to eat, do some sous vide shopping as we wind down our last day here in the Disney parks. Leaving California Adventure because it just closed down for the Oogie Boogie party and going over to Disneyland with 7,000 of our closest friends. Guys, here we are, center of Disneyland right here. Well, not the center, I guess, but the very cool part with the Main Street and the giant pumpkin and Mickey and stuff. And Maddie is stuffing her face, busted. And that's been the name of the game today, guys. We've been having so much food, so many good treats. We're finishing off in the same way. Ice cream cones, fudge. What did I get? Churro toffee. Loving the churro toffee. All the good things. All the good things, you guys. Crazy, awesome day. It's just the perfect weather. It's beautiful out here today. Today was the perfect ending to three days in Disney. We still have more to come on this trip. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow. My voice is hoarse from screaming <laughs> on Guardians. It's going, going on. Guys, the only thing we didn't get to do is Galaxy's Edge. I really want to see that. I really want a chance to go there. Maybe like go up to that Disney World or something someday down the line, but yeah, we didn't get a chance awesome. to see here. Other than that, we really got to do absolutely everything we wanted and ran until the wheels we fall off. The kids are literally falling apart right behind the camera, so we're going to get them into bed. <laughs> come back tomorrow. We're going to Famous Birthdays headquarters, going to Santa Monica Pier. Got a lot of fun stuff coming out tomorrow, so make sure you come back. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone. We are starting out today getting the kids all ready. They picked out some super awesome rad savage outfits because we are going to famous birthdays today and we are going to complete our profile. Who knew we even had a profile? Did you guys even know that you're famous? Because I didn't know that. <laughs> we don't think we are. Getting our hair good. done, getting spruced up, getting our best look on. Ooh. Could we do? Looking fresh, loving it. Will you Maddie's guys getting ready. socks, buddy? Right guys getting himself ready. I got love your guys' outfit choices. Each one, we let them choose what they wanted to wear and we just said make it look you know nice and each one of them definitely pulled out like a piece of their personality in their outfits and I absolutely love it I think it's gonna be great we're gonna get on an hour and a half track a lot of traffic out to famous birthdays do a little bit of video interviewing and then Santa Monica Pier is right there so if we can we're gonna go play there for a little bit and it's gonna be a great day you no know, the Ooh. only problem though is I left part of my voice on Guardians of the Galaxy so oh, I yeah. feel like my voice sounds super weird it does so just I don't it. sound like Mindy Bingham <laughs> We were on our way to Famous Birthdays headquarters. As you guys know, that's part of our trip that we're doing here today. Literally on the freeway, we got an email that said, hey, might be a small change of plans. Let us know if you're already on your way. So we responded yeah. back, said we're on our way. We got about another 45 minutes left in our hour and a half drive and we will be there. We will see you soon. We're all ready, we're dressed up. We got our hair done. I, I mean, washed my hair for at this. Maddie! I mean, you guys. You think she wakes <laughs> up like that, people? Anyways. Definitely not. Minutes later, they said, because of the air quality, the due fires. to the Getty fires, am I saying that right? The Getty fires. It's literally, if you guys know the location of Famous Birthdays, it's at the base of like some kind of a mountainous hillish area. I don't know the area at all. On the other side of it is what's burning. Like, that's where the fires are. And so the air quality is so bad, they sent everyone home. They evacuated the Famous Birthdays headquarters. I evacuated, it sounds like it was a fire risk. It's not. It's just the air it's quality the air is so quality. bad. The HR manager said everyone needs to go home. Safety is the top priority, which yeah. we completely understand. Totally get that. But they're gonna 
have to get us on our next time out here to California, which just gives us another excuse to come out here and, and hang out with Maddie again. Yeah. <laughs> because we got all dressed up, nowhere to go, nothing to do, nowhere to be. So we decided we would head straight west to the nearest piece of ocean. We just want to see the beach. So we're just here at the Redondo, is that it? Redondo. Redondo, Redondo Beach Pier. Beautiful, beautiful place. It's got a lot of people fishing out here. There's a lot of fun shops. But the other thought we had is, you know, we're already all done up. We're ready. We're interview ready. We've got that on our minds. Why don't we just do our own Famous Birthdays interviews, you guys? Let's just do it. I mean, I've assembled I know a few. you're all dying to know my favorite popsicle. <laughs> hey, that was my lead question. I formulated a few questions, you guys, that is going to give you a little better insight into who we are as a family if documenting and watching our daily lives wasn't enough. There's a few hot topic questions we're going to answer right here on the pier overlooking the ocean. Who wants to go first? Me. Okay. <laughs> Hope I picked up that. Who is your favorite sibling? Maddie. Wow. Okay. Easy. You're second. <laughs> I'm not your Wait, sibling. I'm sibling. your dad. I mean, I know. No, maybe actually, I know I'm the only parent. But I don't act like one. Okay, could we do next up on the famous birthday interviews here on the ocean pier? We're doing our own interviews right now. What is your favorite hairstyle? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rye guy's hair. Oh my gosh! I was gonna say the crew. It's a crew cut no, because you're crew. Perfect the wave same. going. The wave? Yeah, your wave is freaking legit, dude. Your waves are way better than the waves in this ocean right now. All right, dude. Thank you. Coming by famous birthdays, Brandon Bingham style. All right, Brexit Doodle. Brexton, my man. Can I ask you a quick question? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to ask you. You're just so cute. Don't I'll look ask at. me my favorite hat. Uh, Brexton, what is your favorite hat to wear? My Mickey one. The Mickey wizard hat you just got? I can definitely say that because you know it was between that and the fedora. The Puerto Rico fedora. Which one would you choose right now? Um, My wizard hat. The wizard hat because that's the hot hat right now. Thank you, Brexton, for stopping by. I appreciate that, guys. Casey, I got a question for your beautiful face and your amazing hair. What is your favorite pair of shoes to wear with a nice dress? Um, uh, mini mouse shoes. Oh, yeah. There they are, mini mouse shoes. Another reason I'm glad we didn't actually get to the interview uh, today. <laughs> I accidentally didn't bring cute shoes with her dress. <laughs> we love Minnie! <laughs> we love Minnie 24 7, 365. Minnie, time for your oh, question. Grape! <laughs> Did you just say grape? <laughs> All right, your interview's done. Thank you. Ready All for right, my Maddie. interview? As long I'm ready as you for got my close this ready, up. Miss school for this. We better make it good. Who That's is your crush? That's a little too close. Oh! <laughs> what? What? what is it? Oh, guys, I don't have one stand on friends. notice right now. Boys if you are booties. <laughs> for at least another ten years, they do. Um, I prefer not to answer that question at this time. Guys, oh my gosh, does Maddie have a crush? Comment below if you can. Smash the like button. Do something because I'm pretty does. sure she does, and she's awkwardly not telling us about it right now. I think that that's false. <laughs> Give me some alone time and some girl time. Hey, you guys we'll, discuss we'll discuss the crush. Oh, what? Guys, what <laughs> just happened? So that wraps up our incredible interviews here on the pier. So super bummed we couldn't go do that, but we will definitely do that the next time we come out. Very accessible here, California. Again, I do have the GoPro event tomorrow. I'm gonna be in the same area. That might be called off, I don't know. But the only bummer besides getting ready for that and not being able to do it is that I really wanted to check out the Santa Monica Pier, do the roller coaster, Ferris wheel, but then we realized it's probably no fun right now anyway. Everyone's leaving the area because of the air quality. So number one priority is that everyone is safe, everyone is healthy, and everyone's being taken care of. So our thoughts are with the people in the area, fighting those fires and just trying to get through them, going to work, all the different things you gotta do and deal with that. Maddie's been dealing with this her whole life. We were talking about on the drive when we got rerouted that she's been dealing with fire evacuations and air quality issues since the day she was born. This is nothing new to her. We're just gonna take some pictures, have a good time out here, maybe send the drone up for a little bit of drone footage of the ocean because we love the ocean, love being by the water. Oh guys, look at this weird boat coming in. Where's my sunglasses? Can we go buy new ones? Comment below, smash the like button if you know what happened to mom's sunglasses. We're not gonna even oh finish my. talking about that in this video, but if you know, comment my below. corneas are getting burned. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also, mom lost her voice on Guardians of the Galaxy yesterday. She she thought that the ride only went up and down once, and then she realized it goes I feel over like and over. I was misled. You were a little bamboozled on that one. Because, you know like at Lagoon, we have that <laughs> ride where you go all the way up, and then you just drop. That's honestly what I remember it being. So we went up a little bit, and then we just dropped. She thought you went to the top where they open up that elevator, the door, and you can see out, and then they just drop you. For those of you who are familiar with the ride, it is a constant onslaught of up, down, up, down in the pitch black. You have no idea what's I, going. I like, honestly hate that feeling more than anything. <laughs> Dreeta, did you do a repeat <laughs> dose of that? Over and over and over. I feel like it gets you over your fears real quick. Makes you just. Yeah, and Hazy freaking rocked it. Like, I love the, the screenshot like... that I got. Everyone's face is freaking out, and Hazy is just looking out with anticipation, like, what happens next? <laughs> Mom's voice is gone. Hazy doesn't have the right shoes. We're actually glad we didn't get to do the interview I'm today. Cold. I, I knew that I had to wear something with an expandable waist. Wow. Because That's I knew I was going to eat my way through Disney. <laughs> Which we did. We did like champions. <laughs> We're going to find something else fun to do. Maybe hit the water park at our hotel. Something we planned on being able to do, but we might go do that. If it's warm enough, it's really not that warm right now. Degrees. Perfect water park weather. Let's go.
good. <laughs> <laughs> we had to improvise on our day today. We were supposed to be, as we told you, at the famous birthdays. That got called off. We're gonna be at the Santa Monica Pier. That got called off because of the fire. We decided, you know what? We've got a water park at our hotel. Let's take advantage. Let's it's actually it. in the 80s today, so it's been cooler, but still water park-ish, although hot tub's the only place we've been able to really muster up the courage to get into. First thing out of the gates, though, kids got super stoked, jumped up for joy, went running for the bucket, and there was a collision between Brex and Hazy where his shoulder hit Hazy in the eye. She got a pretty puffy big black eye. Does it hurt or you feel okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. In true Hazy fashion, yeah. first thing she said is, I want to go back in the pool. She usually just pops up. She goes, I'm okay. She's doing okay. In case you see the big giant shiner on her face, that's how it happened. Literally within about 90 seconds of getting to the pool here. So that's not going to stop us from having a great time. We're going to go to these water slides. We're going to go to mostly just the hot tub for me and mom, I think. I'm just going to sit. <laughs> After three days at Disneyland, Maybe catch I'm some sit. sun. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's snowing back home right now. We've had friends send us pictures of snow in their backyard. So there's snow at home. We're at a water park here. I believe that. I'm not in any hurry to get back home. No way, Jose. Three, two, one. And right then, Brexton comes down screaming, nailed me. All right, Brexton, you're hiding, dude. That was fast. Okay. I thought that'd be so good, hiding inside of a water slide. That was pretty dang good. Today's winding down and we just couldn't stay away. We're back for some more fun at Disney California Adventure Disneyland. No, we're just walking through right now, right, right, guys? <laughs> it's kind of hard to come through and not go in, but we're actually just gonna go finish off the night, finish off our time with Maddie. She's gotta go back home now. So we're gonna finish off the time with her and in churros. She never got a churro in Disneyland, so we're gonna go to downtown Disney, do some shopping, some eating, mostly some churro buying and chomping Yummy. in Maddie's honor. And then she's gotta go back home because <laughs> she has school and lame life stuff. <laughs> Hazy, these are so tiny and cute, but you know what's not tiny? The giant shiner on your eye, you guys. It has like doubled in size in the day. But oh my gosh, if your heart is breaking. Oh, you sweet thing. And she's being so tough, she doesn't even care. She says it's cool. Looking for replacements for the ones lost on the ride yesterday. <laughs> Come to the critical part of the night now. We've just finished eating a nice yummy pizza. Mom actually didn't like it. We're moving on to the most important part of this entire evening and possibly this whole day, maybe this entire trip. Oh my gosh. Our last dessert, our last treat. What are we going with? I think I'm tired of eating. Cut the camera. That's the what camera. I was just really like, I think that's why I need to go like find my, my real wife. <laughs> The one who never gets tired of eating. We have been doing it up pretty right with the food, but we've got churros on the agenda from the menu. We've got ice cream and we've got this candy shop. I think we're all kind of gravitating to the candy shop. So let's go see what they have. Is that more like your real wife? Thank you, that's my wife, you're back. The 
time has come to say goodbye to one member of this family. Kruby, Kruby. thank you, pal. Bye, buddy. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Kruby, come back. We're just kidding. <laughs> you said her I got. Never mind, we vote Rai guy off the island. Guys, nobody's voting Maddie off the island, but she does have to go back to school. As you can see, she's got her just clinging to her book. It's her best friend, her other family. It's her schoolwork right there. Probably her first family. Maddie's got to go back, guys. We're saying goodbye to her. We're saying goodbye to California on our trip right now. It's all Aww. coming to an end. These guys are going home in the morning. I'm sticking around. Maddie's going home tonight, guys. It has been a great day. Yes, it's been an awesome day, awesome trip, but all good things are coming. Halloween's in a couple days. The kids are super excited. We got so many costumes We've got a to lot go through, guys. So much things. fun coming up. I don't yep. know how I'm going to like deal with life for the next couple days. Don't think about it yet. Still have a few more hours, so you got to face reality. <laughs> Maddie, we love you. We love being with you as yes, always. This was so much fun. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are just so cute, aren't you? <laughs> so we say good night and goodbye to Maddie. We're gonna say goodbye to you guys as well. Come back tomorrow. It's a trip home. I got my GoPro event. You never know what's gonna happen. We love you so much. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe down below. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hello, good morning, everybody. Hello, oh, everybody. Mom's got that Dr. Pepper shirt on. You know what? A day of traveling by myself with the kids, I need some Dr. <laughs> Pepper. Guys, you got that right. Today, Mom is going to be taking the kids home by herself. I'm staying behind for one more day for this epic GoPro event that I've been invited out to. Super stoked about that. We are packing things up. The hotel room's getting packed up. We're getting things cleaned up, ready to rock. Before we head to the airport, I think we're going to have to grab a little bit of breakfast. When we went to lunch yesterday, I saw this bagel that had cinnamon sugar crusted all over like, it. Like, all over it. So one of our favorite things that we've done so far while we're here is hit the pan Panera, right on the corner of this parking lot. We don't have a Panera by our house, and so for some reason it's very exciting to us, but it's at the corner of the parking lot of this hotel. So take a nice little walk over there. We've had two lunches over there and now a breakfast. So we're gonna go over there, so get good. these cinnamon crunch bagels, and get this day started. Let's do it. Hey Z, can I see your eye this morning? Ooh, looking a little bit better, huh? After a delicious breakfast, it's time for the short walk back to the hotel before the long flight home. Just kidding, it's a short flight also. We're gonna pack up the kids, throw them in an Uber. We're just talking about it at breakfast, crew and I, that it seems strange. I used to travel a lot. If you guys are pretty new here, you might not know, before we went to do YouTube full time, I had a job that traveled quite a bit, three weeks out of every month, usually. I was always gone, always traveling, always flying, always in different hotels and airports, always by myself, well, with coworkers, but not with my family. Now, we travel a lot still, but we do it together as a family. So it seems really strange that they're gonna go home and I'm gonna be traveling and flying by myself when I used to do that so often and it felt strange to be without the family. Little role reversal there. Have loved this traveling life with the family. Going on these trips all together. Creating memories. Just having a great time together. Are you going to stay here by yourself for real? I am. Just for one more day. Just one more night and then I'm on your same flight tomorrow. So the same time, same flight number, everything. But I'm going okay. one day later. Okay. Okay. Alright guys. Alright guys. <laughs> Alright we're getting ready to leave. Getting ready to leave. We're we're gonna head to the airport. Gonna head to the airport right now. now. We're gonna leave <laughs> okay. Dad. Taking off and leaving me. Hold on. Okay, they're leaving. Mom switching over to this vlog camera. I will shut up. Signing off over here. We have gotten everything packed up. Backpacks, fanny packs. I'm completely ready to travel. I have actually never traveled with the kids alone by myself. I've actually never flown alone, let alone with the kids by myself. So the good news is our kids are old enough that they're actually pretty helpful. Should be easy breezy. Brandon is, however, going to order me up an Uber. Get us to the airport. He would drop us off, but he has to head to his event as well. He is heading off to his event though in Flip flops, shorts, and the whole get up. And we are under. heading in shoes, pants, to... sweaters. It's freezing at home. We have everyone texting us telling us it is gonna be awful when we get there. We're gonna head home. Okay, Dad, we love you. Okay, love you guys. Have a great trip. Okay. I'll see you literally tomorrow afternoon, okay? I love you. Love you. Okay, bye guys. See you. Okay, love you, bye. Bye. You okay? Just miss daddy. It's okay. Rexy misses daddy too, huh? Huh. We have sad kids in the car. This is kind of lame. Ryler's been a little nervous for the flight, and Brexton had his back towards me and realized he's sad. He misses Brandon. And then Hazy, every time I turn around, she looked like she was gonna cry. She misses Brandon, so Cruz got his arm around her. I have sad kids. Now I'm sad because they're sad. It's gonna be an interesting flight, though. Family's off and I'm here in a room with two beds and a bunk bed by myself, holding it together here. How sad and pathetic, I guess, am I? The family's going, they're gonna be gone for no more than 24 hours, but we have just created such strong family bonds as we've done this YouTube journey together and done all these fun travels together that it's actually really hard. It's so dumb. I'm gonna see them tomorrow. It's really hard to send them off to be by myself here at the hotel room and to have them going off and flying home alone, but wipe the tears away. <laughs> Literally, it's one day. I don't know how I ever did this long-term, don't know how I did this for weeks on end without being by the family because now I'm just so used to it. 
I'm so accustomed to being with them by my side, hanging on my pant leg, stepping on my feet. To have this big open space to myself feels really weird and kind of uncomfortable. So excited to be back with them as soon as possible. But the reason we are here, the reason we even turned this into a Disneyland trip is because GoPro invited me out to come to like a GoPro training session. Then they're having like a panel discussion at the YouTube space in LA where they're talking about using GoPro cameras in YouTube videos. And GoPro, as you guys know, is what inspired and sparked the creativity, ignited the passion inside of us to even create and to post videos of ourselves and what we're doing online. And it really to this day still stokes the fire that is that creative passion that we have in creating content and sharing with you guys. So very, very excited about this. A little bit nervous for some reason. I just don't know, even know a lot about it or what I'm getting into, but I'm going to jump in the car right now, heading to Venice Beach. There's a hotel right there on the Venice Beach. We're starting things off in the Red Bull suite for some training. We're going to go outside, get some hands-on training. And then tonight is the panel discussion event. Whatever I can be doing, I will. And I'll bring that to you guys. And then of course, we'll be checking in with mom along the way to see how the flight home is going. Gosh, I love my family, you guys. I love them so much that I miss them when they're gone for 10 minutes. What are you going to do? Part of me just goes, what's wrong with our family? Why are we all crying? We've been together for so long and now all of a sudden we're just like sad to be apart. That's okay, we miss dad, huh? We just love being together and that's what's so awesome about our job is we get to just be together all day every day. So when we're apart, it's really rare and we're not used to it. It's a challenge and it's only like a day, a day and a half maybe. We just barely got to the airport. A few more tears than normal. I don't know how much you could hear when we were in the car because the music was so loud. But I think our Uber driver could sense how sad the kids were. So he was playing all of these really fun songs. Baby Shark, Old Town Road. He was super awesome. I think that we've all dried our tears a little bit and we're ready to head out and go home to Salt Lake. This airport is teeny tiny. This is it. This is probably the easiest airport I could have flown out alone. This is awesome. Do you need help? <laughs> That's okay, it's heavy. Probably almost 50 pounds. Ooh, mom knows how to pack it. Right guy, you got it? Oh, right guy. He's got it. 46. Both of them 46. Awesome. If there was ever an airport to fly out of, I would say it's Long Beach because it's super small. much you could hear us in the car like I said because it was really loud we drive away guys I can't even tell you I've been super nervous to fly by myself I didn't even realize that Brexton was sad in the car I thought he was just looking out the window it turns out he's crying looking out the window he just missed his dad and every time I turned around to Hazy she would kind of like she's sad is she not sad I don't know if I should feed into it finally just looked at her long enough <laughs> and she just cried do you miss dad should we call him? Should we, we can FaceTime him too. We can call him. You don't need to be sad. He's coming home tomorrow. You guys, it makes me sad because I get sad whenever yeah. my kids are sad. I don't even know why I'm sad, but basically, we just missed dad. Cruz being a total stud, huh? You're being a total boss. Right, guys, having a tough time. It's okay. Mommy's here with you, right? We get to go home and wear our Halloween costumes. Just got here to the event. It is literally at the Red Bull Suite at the Irwin Hotel overlooking Venice Beach. There's a little nook cut out up in this suite that looks out over the beach. You got Muscle Beach, you got skate parks, you got everything rad and epic. That is everything GoPro. And it's going down right here, right now. We're gonna be getting some training from these guys. We're gonna take some cameras out on the beach, get some real world testing so we can up the creativity and content game in our YouTube videos. Coming at ya. Hopefully this makes us better creators and better users of the GoPro camera, our favorite camera to use. And whenever we're capturing that action, Meanwhile, just the right leg back just a little bit. There we go, perfect. Now switch the legs. After I filmed that whole portion about how just a lot of emotions going into today. I don't even know why, can't even explain it. We go through security and one of the kids got flagged, but they don't screen kids. They don't do that kind of security testing on children. They do it to the parent. Well, I'm the only one here. You don't need to be sad. Okay, so while I'm dealing with this, my emotions are just like kind of on the edge. She goes, because we don't screen children, we'll screen the parent. She swaps my hands, my hands came back, and there was an alarm that went off. So they said, okay, they pulled me to the side, they made my kids go to a different spot. I burst into tears. You guys, she's like, ma'am, are you okay? I was like, no. I was like, we just have so many emotions going on. I have one kid that's afraid to fly. The other two are crying because they miss their dad. I was like, honestly, it's just kind of hitting me. I'm totally fine. And I'm just standing there sobbing. So then all my kids start crying again. Mom of the year. 
they explained to me that sometimes it's just something is on your hands from like cleaners or normal day-to-day -day stuff that we use but they have to do the full pat down she had me stand in different positions she touched every part of my body and I says I I'm totally fine she's like do you want me to explain it to your kids and I says you know I'll be happy to basically I explained to the kids that TSA is made to keep us safe so if there's something that they feel like they need to check on my clothes or anything let them do their jobs the kids That's funny because she made her do the airplane ride I know I had to put my arms out wide like this like I was on an airplane ride so I'm so thankful to that amazing TSA lady who made the experience a hundred times better than it could have been I, I apologize for my emotions I am all over the place right now but I'm just trying to deal with all of my kids emotions at the same time as my own and clearly I just failed miserably so we're taking in a lot okay we got ourselves some lunch and I think that's maybe helping a little bit the kids would like to take a treat on the plane we are gonna do that now we're gonna pick out something oh dad loves those in honor of dad we will buy these yes I will buy these for you Brandon and I will yeah. eat them all in your name. Casey, what did you decide? <gasps> Skittles, I know. That's the first time I've seen you smile since we got here. Show me your Skittles. Lots of good things here. Casey chose this cute little water. You excited? All right, boys, what do you want? Oh, you know exactly what you want. Gum? Rexy, what are you gonna choose? I don't know. Okay, we have lots of little snacks. You guys wanna carry your stuff? Okay, good job. Thank you. GoPro has outfitted us with a bunch of GoPro cameras. I brought my own, not to worry. They're sending us out on the streets of Venice Beach to see what we can capture. to our plane. The fun part of flying out of Long Beach is you get to go right out on the jetway and walk straight up onto your plane. We just barely got on the plane. Don't feel like this could go any worse, and I'm not even joking. Daisy is just crying. She says she doesn't feel well. I got a few of these. I don't know when I got them. Anyways, I brought them just in case. I'm like, I cannot have a kid to roll up on the plane. I'm gonna cuddle her, hope that she does okay. I've got Rai Guy next to me. We're gonna just calm some nerves. These two boys over here. Good over there? Yeah, they're being awesome. Thank you. Just wrapped up part one of the GoPro event. Back to my big empty car. And just to put a bow on the whole overly dramatic goodbye today. Family is safe at home. I heard there's snow there. Incredible. It's a sunny, gorgeous sunset here at Venice Beach. I'm headed off to YouTube Space LA for the second part of today's GoPro event. But I just wanted to say, you know, I know we're only away from each other for a moment, but really it has always been my life's top priority to get as much time together with my family as I can while still providing a lifestyle for them. That's a quote of mine, I guess. If you go back and watch the video where we officially announced that we were leaving the traditional workforce and just going full-time on YouTube and some of the reasoning behind that some of the mentality that goes into making a decision like that and there were times back when I was looking for jobs and I would apply at different jobs and a lot of times people break down the pros and cons of different jobs by you know salary or ability to move up mobility inside of a company I would literally make spreadsheets and detail out how much time each job would give me with my family and then regardless of title position income salary level whatever I would always choose the one that allowed me to have more time with my family this job being full-time YouTube is obviously the culmination of every dream imaginable where I get full time with my family while still providing an income and that is all because of you guys and because of your loyal following and watching tuning in every day to see what we're up to that explains a little bit of the emotion behind it because truly we have been living the dream by being together while still being able to provide an amazing life for our kids for our family so then when we split up like that it has that feeling of going back to being away from each other as much as I was before I think we all got a little bit emotional there everyone's home we're all feeling great I'll be back with them tomorrow and now it's off to finish this amazing GoPro event it's been incredible you guys
right, guys. I'm carrying a lot right now. Kind of hard to vlog, but we just got off the plane. It was an excellent plane ride. Was a bit scared there for a second, but then once I got on my Kindle and just chilled and distracted uh, yourself a little. Yeah, distracted myself so much. Hazy is out. She fell asleep the whole ride. Hazy is not feeling well, so we're gonna go home and give her some medicine and hope that she feels better. I'm gonna have to have a babysitter take care of them tonight while I take Ryler to his game. Hopefully tonight can go smoothly. We're happy to be home. It is a chilly 28 degrees here. Welcome back to Utah. We just barely got dropped off by the bus to get to our cars. We're taking our suitcases, but you guys, it is snowing on us. I don't know if you can see this. gonna be torture. This is not even real. Hi, Lazzie. We missed you. We missed you. Hi, Kenny. It feels so good to be home. Holy cow, I forgot how clean I left our house. I like when we leave and our house is clean. We picked up some food on the way home. The kids wanted chicken nuggets, so I stopped at Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna feed them. We're gonna get ready for bed, and I'm gonna get these kids to bed. Ryler had a football game, but because of freezing temperatures, it was canceled, which kind of works out because I think we're all tired. I don't think Hazy's feeling 100%. I get to be with her tonight. We're gonna get these kids fed and ready for bed. Kids are all bathed. I feel like just in the last hour, Hazy's eye has turned a little bit more blue. I don't know where that came from. It looks worse in different lights too. Kids are just relaxing. We're so happy to be back with our Lazzie. We got the kids to bed. We ended up getting to bed pretty quickly. A little bit of an emotionally exhausting day. The day's done. Tomorrow's the opportunity for a new day. We have a lot of fun stuff going on tomorrow, so make sure you guys come back. It's gonna be really awesome. I love you so much. Thank you for all of the positive comments and everything on Instagram as I posted about our little experience today. You guys are amazing. I'm so, so grateful for you. And we'll See you guys all tomorrow. To have you here, thank you to the YouTube space in LA, giving us an opportunity to come and talk with all of you. And so I started this YouTube channel to show other people at USC. Just getting back to my empty hotel room after the GoPro event. It was a super incredibly rad event. It was so cool just to be invited, just to be a part of that, you guys. You know how much we love GoPro and everything that they've done for us and everything that they stand for. We just freaking love them. So it was crazy cool to be a part of that. Just downloading now the footage from Mom's End. Turns out she had a pretty eventful day at the airport today. I heard a little bit about it, but haven't been in much communication with them since I've been at the event and Mom's been at home taking care of the kids. Gonna get this stuff downloaded, get working on the vlog here in my empty hotel room, and then I'm super excited to reunite with the family tomorrow. We got a lot of fun coming tomorrow because we do have one of our first incredibly amazing, epic, and family-themed costume reveals for our neighborhood Halloween party going down tomorrow night. So make sure you don't miss that. Subscribe if you haven't. Smash that like button. We love you guys so much. You guys are our family, and we are so grateful to be a part of your lives every single day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.